if he wasn't a Christian and I could be there and watch. That's the only way. No, Bye. you got to participate. Hey. Wait a minute. I just wanted to be honest with you the whole way every time. But if he wasn't a Christian and he went through that, I'd be like, yeah, boo, but I'm going to have to be there. Just be honest with me. No, you got to jump in. Trudy. What about the girl? Does the girl have to be a Christian? I don't understand that, but okay. I'm no. confused. Trigger, so you would be okay with him having a threesome, but you just want to watch? So that's not a threesome. So you'd be okay him messing with other chicks while you, as long as you watch? And I, yeah, I know about every time and I'm there. Yeah. Why are you going to watch? Uh, it can't happen all the time. It can't be like excessive because then you, if you don't like me, just say that. Why you want to watch? Just like, on the, just, no, just on the weekdays that in and why. But uh, uh, what I was going to ask, though, is that how like can... once quarterly? Quarterly is a good... One, once quarterly. You feel me? Can we not start that narrative? Let's keep it at once a month <laughs> for right now. Once a month? Oh, no, no, no. We, we got to ease them into it, bro. Once every okay. three months. Then oh. we can start breaking it down. But if you're oh, a Christian, no, it's over with. Because I'm holding you to your Christian standards. Our Christian standards are we don't step outside the marriage. You feel me? But does the girl have to be Christian? Because most of the girls I know that love the Lord. No, if she's Christian, she can't do either. Either. I'm just about to like say this. That. See, Jesus listen, is not please. You, you can you can love you can love the Lord, but the best things they do, they learn from Satan. Like, Absolutely. Come on. Jesus, now. Jesus didn't teach her how to do the God God 3000. Like, let's be honest. Come on, Pastor. You know what? Jesus Please. made it for, for marriage. Okay. Because. Well, you know. nobody virgins on this panel. Let's just start there. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, made it, he made it for kids. <laughs> to be honest Trigger, with you, y'all not supposed to be the Song of Solomon. If you Bible. ever read the Bible, talk about all the four play stuff. If you ever read the Bible, it didn't want you to wear condoms either. It wanted you to be fruitful. Because you was supposed to be married. Oh, bro, I like, I like this nigga. He married. <laughs> Telling you, you hear that? Yeah, no, because time out. Because I hate when female be like, "Oh, you ain't raw." Condoms is a relatively new thing to society. Come on now, come well, on. When now. they start making condoms, All right? Like, okay, and then condoms is you were born, huh? That incurable. They started making it before you were born. What I'm yeah, saying, it's not new for your generation. Condoms came in the sixties. The CIA put it into the neighborhoods like crap. Oh Lord! I'm just. Did you say the CIA? Yes. Yeah, Come did. on, my boy. Uh, you know, see, they used to have a short lifespan back in the day. Hey, I got me a running back tonight, man. We for to tear y'all ass up because Congress. <laughs> because listen, let's be honest. God never intended on us to use plastic. Thank you. That is that is not biblical. Find me the scripture. Find me the scripture. I'm, I'm you know what scripture I can't find? Anton, Anton, Bible. 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 Like if you're that. not married. Listen, in, in the Bible, That's it's the like, it, the Bible, it's like, like raw is law. I, I, I'm pretty sure it was it was written in all red letters. You can't, you can't, if you can find, if you can find the word condom one time in the Bible, I'll give you a thousand dollars. But it also say not to cheat on your wife. So I'm glad you said how many, that. How many wives did uh David and them have? How many oh, they had? I don't know the Bible. Anton, how many wives? Anton know the Bible. <laughs> that was a different time. How many Come wives on. did Abraham have? And, and listen, let me give my boy David and them Abraham some. Abraham had a thousand wives. Let me give Abraham? my boy some leeway. Okay. Because time out, when David knew was coming up, they was writing the Bible. So if they was just now making the instruction book as they was living, it was come on man. the instruction book they was making yeah. it as so <laughs> technically David and them and Abraham they did nothing wrong. They didn't have the book. Come on man, I I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. Even Noah had hella wives. What? <laughs> What do you I think Noah about? had one. I don't know. No, 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 no. I think Noah was. He was hiding bitches. We're going to have to stop. <laughs> Y'all lied on the Bible. Yeah, right. That's why That's why there was. I, I, that's why it's so wild. Listen, listen, right. listen, oh. listen, 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 listen. We're not going to lie on the word. We can have our own personal opinion, but we're not going to lie on the word of God. <laughs> All right. Amen. Have a lot of she are gonna pull up. That's a fact. We got folks. We got folks late, you guys. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome to the show. I don't know how we got here. A question <laughs> was stated in the back. So I said, so you know what? Well, let me just start the show. 
Welcome to everybody. What's up, Quinn? Go ahead. I tried it. What? I don't know what he's talking about. But let me read this quick super chat. Then we can get to the first topic. Um, cue, cue the ghost. She got Urkel to pull up. Who's Urkel? Not you talking. <laughs> <laughs> Not. Go ahead. Uh, Logic can't pull up. Logic backed out. He said he's too tired. Boo. Tomatoes, Boo. tomatoes. He was supposed to pull up, but he said he's too tired. But shout out to everybody that's on the panel. We're going to go ahead and get started. Well, happy Easter to everybody. Uh-uh. Trans visibility going? today, baby. Don't, don't disrespect. Trans visibility day. No, not no, no, no. Trans visibility day. Do not play. I Okay, so I did see that. Like, what kind of dumb, dumb crap is that? Like, mm. Did y'all see that? I think I posted something else new that popped up. Hold on. It's something about how they're going to add the immigration services introduces third gender option as X. Did y'all see that? Yeah. Twitter going to be mad about that. Like, what's next? Like, I just, I don't know. But we're going to start off the show with this little clip. If real men nowadays are more feminine. Here y'all go. I feel like modern men are a little more feminine than I what? recall. Okay. <laughs> they definitely I are. have a dad, just, so I can just. I can relate. I can di school, differentiate okay. what okay. I feel like a real man is. What, what do you consider a you said man. a modern man is more feminine? What do you what do you think is more feminine? What do you, what is that to you? Well, I feel like when the father is not in the home, he picks up character characteristics from the mother mm -hmm. i'm not gonna say everything he do is feminine no yeah. but i feel like men now they're more willing to argue with you they're more willing to combat with you about little things and just certain things that i feel like mm, men that i know don't really do that mm. Mm. she has some good points trigger go ahead i know you got something to say <laughs> um well it just seems like a lot of guys have right, aggression before, hold on, before, you, before like, you get there, uh, before, you get there baby, before you get there what is what what made you go with the red wig today okay pumpkin spice i got you uh <laughs> Yeah. Let's go. Oh, yeah, do your thing. I was just trying to figure out, like, how do y'all figure out and pick pick and choose? Which uh, her, her weed like some Easter basket grass. Uh, she she <laughs> she in spirit. <laughs> <laughs> I do look like a whole Easter spirit. egg. <laughs> she bringing in the spirit, you know. Yeah. Trigger, I like your wig. You got your Jean Grey going on right now. X Men ninety seven. I fuck with it. I fuck with it already. She look you like know? a whole Easter egg over there. <laughs> yeah. Uh no, like it'd be a lot of men who would have aggression that I hear online that'd be like, Man, when we get all the they get all the uh perks, they can get on a boat for free because they got titties and they can get you know, like it feels like real jealous, like you feel me? Like like men are like waking up and they want the same type of perks, so they mad that women get these perks, so they feel like women got it easier. Just because of that part, because if they go on a boat, you know, they don't have to pay for it. And a man would have to pay for everything, you know. So, and I mean, I get it on some levels because sometimes that financial aspect could be a little unfair. However, it's like, like, why are you complaining about that? Like, there's also a trade-off. Like, if a woman get on there, she's expected to do a certain thing. And that's like a whole different level of something that you know a man would not probably want to give up anyway no, hold, on, hold, on. hold on first of all all y'all not all y'all not making it on the boat i'm gonna just be real I like, say you should just be, no i'm saying to just being a woman in general a woman in general don't automatically qualify you to get on the boat yeah like so all some all y'all not getting in the club that's number one yeah the ones with pretty Privilege, but that's what I hear. Yeah, no, it's not just that. No speak, speak to your experience. I don't think you making it on the boat. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Let me so go <laughs> Let's be honest here, cuz like, I can make it out. Somebody vote. Somebody yeah, like me. Somebody vote. Somebody like me. Somebody like me. Somebody like me. Somebody like me. 
I can make it on my cousin boat. You feel me? <laughs> okay, is his own man. I, I, I don't speak the whole like, on, okay got his own on, thing yes. going on. I'm not speaking on the okay, so. All I'm saying is that I don't think that's what made guys feminine. I do agree to an extent of what the girl was saying and that she was saying that men are more feminine nowadays. I do agree with that, but I don't think it has anything to do with wanting to be like women. Um, I just think that it is a lot of guys that's been raised by their mamas. Um, it ain't been a lot of uh, guys in a household for whatever reason, whether the woman picked wrong or whatever. I think that it was a, a huge wave of simp dudes that wind up saying happy wife, happy life. And it's a whole lot of different things. But I think that women are becoming way more masculine. Men are being more feminine. Um, and it's a lot of reasons. I think it's a lot of guys that's gay. And um, it's a lot of guys that went to prison and became gay. I think that if you look at one of the most popular black cities, Atlanta, that shit is celebrated and it's, it's embraced. I think I also believe that um, women have turned their sons. They they've they've turned their sons into son husbands. It's a lot of reasons. I think that people are are have become way more experimental. I don't think it's no more shame no more. So anybody can be anything they want to be. But I don't think it has anything to do with being jealous of women. I think it has more to do with. The way in which they raise, because this type of stuff is taught to you. you no, know, I don't believe that anybody comes out the womb like that. I think that most people that wind up going that other way have had stuff done to them. I did a uh, a segment on the Millionaire Morning Show this morning where a janitor at a school paid a little boy five dollars. Um, oh. do some stuff to him. Real talk. It was a segment on the show that I talked did that. And and the boy was only 11, 12 years old. Wasn't no man in the household to, do, you know what I'm saying, to hold him down. Single mother, the way that she found out was that her daughter, who went to the same school as the son, wind up saying something because she had been hearing rumors about the about the son getting coerced to do something with the janitor, which the, the boy now is always going to see that because the mama was on the news talking about the fact that the boy would, you know, was saying how he still visibly affected or whatever like that. Right. And so when you see this type of stuff happening in, the, in these communities and stuff, sometimes and I'm, I'm going to throw people some rope. Sometimes it's not your fault. You are paying for the sins of your parents. You are paying for the sins of your mother. You paying for the sins of your father. You paying for the sins of the people that didn't protect you. It's a lot of people that watch this show. It's a lot of people that are listening to this right now that have wounds that's been imported or input into them based off of the things that they experienced or the stuff that they was taught when they was younger. And they told you that it was okay. They told you that it was it's fine to be who you were. Some of y'all got put dresses on when you was a little kid. And it ain't your fault. It ain't even something that we need to hold you accountable for. But you don't want to work through that because you just want to keep feeling good. And it's like a drug to you. Some of y'all was dressed up like little dolls. Y'all mamas, you know what I'm saying, was rubbing up on y'all and holding y'all in a way that she wanted to rub and hold on her fa your father that wasn't there. And it's so much stuff in that that's now teaching us. And instead of us rooting it out and dealing with the problems and straightening the shit out and getting back to the core of who we are. All we doing is saying that it's okay to validate our feelings. And so it's a lot of shit that's happening that people don't speak on. It's a lot of families that hide shit and then it just goes down the drain and nobody talks about it. And people say, don't say nothing and all of this stuff. And so instead of us holding our, our parents accountable for that stuff, we just live with it, live through it. Next thing you know, you fucking got AIDS, and that's the end of your story. And it's messed what, up. It's what, messed what, up. What, well, how much is uh, men being feminine natural evolution? Because, okay, this is what, so let, let, let's talk about it. And I say natural because if our, uh, our forefathers and our ancestors did all that, the, the traditional work that made a man a man, and now we rely heavily on technology to where we pushing the button, we... At some point, we was gonna have to have a drop off of doing all this 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 this, this raw work. And it doesn't make that that don't make a difference because you don't think so. 
Nope, because just because I don't actually physically kill myself in a factory don't mean that I don't still have the work ethic. I my, mean, work but- ethic my work ethic is unmatched, and I'm still going to put the time in. I'm still going to put the grind in. It's just that I, now I get better opportunities because it's so many other people that let that weakness, you know what I'm saying, control their life instead of leveraging it in order to make more money. I you mean, know, before it's the same. For a long time, the job you had was your masculinity uh, or the way that a woman uh, reviewed it. So, it like, it was a lot of dudes that wasn't strong, but they worked in the warehouse, so they woman respected that back in the day. But now well, you... Look, think about the culture, right? The conversations that we was having. Well, women, one of the things that... I'm, I'm a... I'm a We're going to touch every part of this, right? And okay. that's, this is a phenomenal question. Because, for example... Women want men to think like women when it comes to relationship, especially when it comes to men being Bingo. one. Bingo. Thanks. When a woman says that I only want you to be with me, that's not normal. That's, that's something that we've trained ourselves in order to be civilized to make women feel better. That's not what the nature of a man is. No I'm man, straight. no, no, not one man grew up thinking I only want to talk to one woman. Conversely, that is a, I'm telling you, that is a female led thing. That is something that when, women grow up. Definitely thinking, propaganda, I bro. I want the wedding. I want the white picket fence. I want all of this shit. We've conditioned men to think like that. Out the order. That is who not is the, the natural the state of a man. You say what? Who is in the garden of Eden? What are you talking about? Adam goes to the Bible. Adam it, was just, it was just a man and a woman. Why okay. didn't Adam well, need First of all, he was by himself until you came in and fucked it up. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> no, let's okay. He well, if you really want to, if you really want to have a conversation, why didn't why didn't God know? make him two wives? And, and, and in the beginning, it was him by himself. Yeah. He was Listen. chilling. And then he got blessed with a what a and then he got cursed. Then he got cursed. Hey. Okay, Anton, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. And then he go. got cursed with a woman that got beguiled by the serpent, and that's why he got punished because he hearkened. No, he got no listen, listen, listen. The mom, word of God said, says that I am a walking man. Bible. Listen, you don't, you didn't, you wasn't paying attention in Sunday school. I'm a wor- I'm a uh-huh. walking Bible. No, 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 you wasn't. That's why you're sucking dick. Listen. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, listen, shit. hear me out. It says, he was punished not because of the sin. He was punished because he hearkened unto the voice of his wife. That's why he was punished. He gave a separate punishment to the woman and then he gave a separate punishment to the man. Because he hearkened unto the voice of his wife. That's why God was dealing with him. Listen to it. Read it again. And that tells you the very nature of why we going down a path that we going down right now. Okay. Well, my point was, you he like men are not naturally supposed to he be listen with. to her instead of paying attention to what God told him to do. The whole world was his. His oyster. He named every single animal. It was his. He could do whatever he wanted to. But because he hearkened unto the voice of his wife, which is why I keep telling these guys on a regular basis, stop, pan- listen, take it into consideration, but it's ultimately between you and God. You hearken unto the voice of God, not a woman. She is to be led. And to and be talking, to be listening to women, and you got all of these women sitting here telling you how you're supposed to be moving when she don't know shit about being a man. Definitely not. Uh, and besides, girls be letting girls be letting their whole long term relationship guy or or spouse whatever uh, husband fuck on their friend in the threesome and shit like that, and eat that girl's cooch right now. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, and they and you are you are like so that. sex crazed. What is wrong with you? No, you just said she was sucking dick. Where did that go from? And he went straight for the Bible. Anton, think about well, it. you don't know Why the history between me and Trigger. That's an inside. Yeah, joke. yeah, it's a history yeah, between Trigger. When I heard it, that's why I was like, "What's going on?" Now, nah, but uh, I want to go left field on this question though. Normally, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just me. But y'all tell me every time I hear a girl say, 
oh, uh, whether it's my homegirls, my woman uh, cousins, or whatever the case is. Every time I hear a woman say, oh, these men nowadays, they feminine, it's always because they're not getting something they want from a man. Mm. It's always because they're not getting exactly what they need. They meet a stranger, go out on a date. He don't want to pay my bills. These niggas is feminine. These mm. niggas ain't like they used to be. So, so maybe it's just me, but it sounds like somebody is crying that they're losing. That's what it sounds like to me. Come, come through now, bro. Are men losing? That's all I want to say. I mean, are women losing? No, I mean, they're not getting what they want from who they want. From who they so, want. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like an L that they, because they can't accept that L. And so they're like, man, these, nah, things, these, these nah, days feminine. It's, it's some guys that is feminine. I mean, yeah, and it, I talk, I'm not even just talking. I'm not talking about mannerisms. I'm talking about like rainbow. Listen, bro, listen, bro. It's one thing to hold a woman accountable, but I don't give a fuck about what a woman think. Like, ain't no woman gonna change the trajectory of my course. Me even listening to what a woman is doing and letting that affect what I'm gonna do on a daily basis is an issue. Femininity can come in a lot of different ways. It don't have to necessarily be that he gay or he feminine in his mannerisms. It could be more or less he feminine in a way in which he deal with people and women and, and life in general. And conversely, I will tell you that guys that operate in a, in a true purpose of masculinity, they will always win. Always. It's nothing that women can do to ever stop a man that's on the top of his game and his focus. It's nothing. As long as you don't get distracted, as long as you ain't focused on her. And you're more focused on what you got to do. You can't lose. It's impossible because it's that's my that's my destiny. You can't take my place. Yeah, it's but uh, hey, so I, I agree 100 what you say because like I listen to my wife. I listen to her. I take into consideration. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna make the decision because if we be homeless, won't nobody look at her and be like, "Oh, it's your fault." It's always Facts. gonna rely back to me. Facts. And, and what you were talking about with the uh, Adam and Eve stuff, Trigger, don't never forget that the woman came from the real. That is the side, okay? You are meant to be a side. Okay? <laughs> you you will never he be... Didn't give him two sides. He gave him one side. That was my point. One side. You, that, was the, that was the order that God had for men and women. Was one man and one woman. You came from the other rib. You a side. Because, but with the mm -hmm. next, they, never might have allowed multiple wives in the, in the culture, but... He, God never directed that. And then when he gave instruction in the New Testament, he said, every one wife, to every one man. Hmm. And That's not what it says. That's, not what it says. Mm -hmm. That's not what it says. But I, I just wanted to add what, this. What, what Bible are you reading? <laughs> That's not what it says. Right, what but, you, what you, but, you think a woman with a weave like that read? She's not reading. Anyway. I don't know what Bible she's reading. <laughs> so I just wanted to give you a little pushback on the... Um, I, I don't understand. What, can y'all tell me what the only why? part in the New Testament that God ever referenced um, uh, monogamy amongst the man is when he was speaking to the bishop. He literally no, specifically I'll show you the, the verse in the New Testament. Okay. Says, okay, where is it at? What's what's he's the verse? Not talking about bishops. He's saying everyone. What did it, what did it say? What did it say? I think it's in Matthew. I'll pull it up for you right now. How we get to the Bible talk? Why are you talking about Bible? Let's go there. Let's go there. Let's say Why did you, you, did you have to go to uh, summer school for Sunday school? No. What? <laughs> I, 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 I know I'm not in the Bible. Um, but this is what this was my question. Why do men feel like the gay community is a threat to masculinity? Because this is this what? is the thing. People have their, their feelings oh, and they want to hold on, 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 right? hold on, ma'am, hold on, ma'am. Wasn't you question? just saying? Wasn't you just talking this Bible stuff? Yeah, but why are we going to apply the Bible to people who don't believe that? You know what I'm saying? Or who feel like they can be that way and that way? Like people are going to have different viewpoints, right? But how does somebody else's sexual preference have anything to do with? Masculinity in general. You are That's wild, how I was Well, two K don't believe in the Bible, so two K so don't unless it benefits me. Now hold on, so <laughs> let's stop there. Yo, 
when it comes to my wife cheating, I believe in the Bible. Let's, like, let's get that understood. <laughs> Jesus would not allow that. But like I'm I, listen, I'm 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 just with what a lot of people is. I can say I'm I'm selective, okay? I put I like I was telling y'all last week, pull up to a prostitute. Uh, how much this gonna be? I, uh, uh, it's gonna be a hundred for some head. I hit her with the proverb six two six. A prostitute feet is only worth a loaf of bread, baby. That's three dollars oh. and ninety five cents. <laughs> you gotta know oh when to God. get to the scripture. <laughs> you got to know when to get to the same thing though. Not okay, a lot of Christians think they're gonna use from the Bible. So that's why when people bring up the Bible, they pick and choose, but. But back to the topic, though, like, I do believe a lot of more men are becoming more feminine. Like, the art, she brought up one example, the arguing back and forth with a woman. Why are you waste? Why do men waste their time arguing with a chick, knowing they're not going to change a damn chick? Let the hoes be hoes. All of these podcasts trying to change these hoes, I don't get it. Like, no, why do you argue with women? That. That's different. I think that it's different when you're talking and when you're dealing with them in real life versus dealing with them as far as the conversations that we have in online. Um, because I think that there is a um, gender war. It is. And I mm -hmm. think that it's important for us to to point it out. I mean, look, man, I was I was looking at a woman <clears throat> yesterday that was basically putting up all of the Snapchats and all of the videos that she was having of the different guys that she was dating. And you, you and she's going viral right now. Yeah, and all these dudes is kissing her in the mouth, and they and she basically is encouraging women to to do this type of behavior. And so mm -hmm. it's hard for me to not warn my guys and use a lot of these type of women as examples of how you're supposed to be moving in these streets when it's getting worse. It's getting worse, and so I think that the problem is that it's too many good people that's being quiet. Uh, absolutely. And, and there's so many people that know the game that's being quiet. And so mm -hmm. they want to silence you. Like, they'll tell me, Anton, why don't you only talk about the good parts? Well, listen, I'm not here for the people that's already got it together. I'm here for the people that's fucked up and that need some instruction. If you already got it together, then you don't need me. You're suppo you supposed to be helping me. And that's I'm why not Jesus here for the hung people that's with already you. fixed. I'm here for the people that's broken. And that's well, why I Jesus go hung the with dark. the crooks and the the mm -hmm. criminals instead of hanging with the people who didn't need the message. So you yeah. got to understand, like, it was a reason for that. Uh, but I, I, I'm i one of them people, like, I, I, don't, I don't know how y'all feel like arguing with a female is sassy. Like, if she wrong and I'm trying to correct her in her wrongness, that, what's sassy about me trying to help you and give you the right advice? To, 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 it's to, not to, sassy. It's just like you wasting your time on a chick that's not going to change. No, no. She, listen, the what I have learned about females, and this is why I take the approach, the more fucked up you said, the more it stick to a head. Hmm. Okay? If you, you said in a, if you said in a polite way, like, if I say, uh, uh, she was doing that's crazy. That's if I say, that is all right, don't do drugs, just say no. She gonna keep going. If I say, hey, bitch, don't smoke crack, she'll never forget that. <laughs> she'll never forget that. So, like your mama did say that. Yeah, yeah so like it's, it's like enough people did. sugarcoating the shit for mm -hmm. for y'all to catch diabetes. Somebody had to give it to you straight and raw. That's real. I think some women don't care. Masculinity. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, Carrie, what are your thoughts? Um, I definitely think that there are more feminine men because there's more gay men. Um. I don't think in terms of straight men, I don't I don't know that I would say that they're more feminine, but I did agree with what 2K was saying. I don't think they're as um like primal. I don't think they're as like I don't I don't know the word, but I don't want to call that I don't want to say manly because I don't want to imply that they're not a man. Toxic. But no, it's just um, you know, like Masculine. I looked up, I, I looked up masculinity. I think it was masculinity that I looked up not too long ago. And it dealt with survival level stuff. Like it dealt with being able to physically do certain things. And I don't think men in general can do the same things or they choose to do the same things physically like they used to 
back in the day. And I think that, that to. I think I think that that spills over to a lot of areas. I think that that spills over into your role. I think that spills over into like the way that you protect things, the way that you communicate things, the authority you take over things. And I think that men in general, the role of a man has been diluted because there's so much acceptance for all of these other roles. I think some men are confused. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know where to be because well, Karen, I say, go ahead. They, they go back to what I'm saying, Care. Like, with, with the advancement of technology, you have weaker men. Like, let's say back in the day, men had to run in packs to go get the food. Okay, while they was going to get the food, you was learning leadership qualities. You was learning how to take direction from another man. You was learning how to give direction to younger men. But now, when everything is given to you, you just go to the grocery store and just pick up the food. You just push this button and now you ain't got to do the work. You're going to have a naturally more or less uh less masculine man just off default so basically men are more lazy now not lazy you not just lazy. don't have to do it's the just, work they have you know, less purpose than they had in the yeah, past i think i think you know, it's, I have a lot of legitimacy to that like that's i think that it's it, it people are less clear on what what their role is and there's different reasons for why, obviously, but I think we had we're at a place where we have a lot of elements. Yeah, we can't hear you, Karen. Look at God. He don't he don't want no one to talk. <laughs> he don't he don't like women talking. Oh, uh, I would say this. Let's see that they show you. But 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 I see, and I seen somebody say it worked in both genders, but to the women it worked the opposite way because now. They working side by side with man, confusing it with the work we used to do back in the day. So now she really thinks she's doing something, but all she's doing is benefiting off of the hard work that the older man put in to, to the point you have to push a button. You could if, just think about it. If they had the work the Amazon warehouse in 1820, how many women would be working there? So true. None. But now when you just push a push a button, all of a sudden you want to come out the kitchen. Yeah, that's not true. Women have always worked. That's the misconception. No, women have always worked, but they didn't do the physical work that me and the back back in the day had to do. Yes, they did. Not. As a matter of fact, they were some of the ones that did it when men was off the war. They were the ones that was in the factories. And and uh, I'm there was you. those were the exceptions, but uh, the women were predominantly in the nursing field. <laughs> Let's Let's nah, actually, you know the the way that people, not just men and women, the that people had to exist in order to be able to survive was a lot more physical. The way that they, the way that they had to farm, they had to work on a, you know, even the way that they wash clothes and all of that, it was way more physical. It wasn't just pushing a the button. They wasn't just chilling. Like you know, they had to literally make their food from scratch. They had to literally wa hand wash their clothes. They had to literally help till the farm. They had to literally go out and do real stuff every day. Every day, they 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 figured it out. You know what I'm saying? It was more physical all the time. I don't know where y'all yeah. getting this from. This is, this is women were predominantly in the kitchen. Like let's be, well, I'm like saying in the kitchen. I'm sorry about that. A little more at home and then <laughs> women were predominantly at home. Like let's be wasn't. honest. Everything was a lot harder. The way they didn't wish they had birth was harder. Everything was harder. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. And so I don't know what y'all, I don't know where y'all got this from. Like women worked in the fields just like men worked in the fields. But the, the okay, Anton, if they say, hey, we need somebody to pull this whole plow of cotton to take it all the way out there, they weren't giving the woman their job. Now was Some, she out there playing teeth? Huh? Listen, bro. I don't know where y'all been at. Y'all need to study the history of slavery. I'm, from, the, I'm from Mississippi. They so you, be understand, you understand that they worked hard as hell in them fields. I yeah, they, no, they were they worked in the fields. Like, can y'all hear me now? Yeah, mm -hmm. we hear. Okay. Yeah. They worked in the fields, but the roles were still clearly defined. Like my mom, her family is from warranted north carolina she worked in the fields but she didn't necessarily do the same thing that my uncle did in the fields not to say go ahead but that's not the point that i'm making what i'm saying is that it wasn't as easy as pushing a button 
What I'm saying oh, no, is no, no, I'm yeah, saying no. that's what we have to have physically engaged. No, I'm um, saying this. Well, well Anton, I, so and that's why I didn't want to use the word feminine and masculine because if you were to pose the same question about women, I would say the same thing. I think that the role of the woman is is all diluted and confused too. Like I I, I think it's all mixed up. Men have always had harder roles, but women have also done hard fucking work too. Is what I'm yeah. saying. And I and so that. and so what I'm saying is that. You know, even when I see people complain, when I see women complain about all the stuff that they have to do at home, I'm like, shut the fuck up. Like, that ain't <laughs> <laughs> See, see, but that's a lot. Come on, it's still a lot. If you're by listen, yourself, bro, listen, bro, listen. Be half the time I'm by myself, half the time I'm with my chick, right? I throw a load in all the time. I wash my own fucking dishes. I got a dishwasher. Like this shit ain't hard. Well, I mean, we gotta be real though. Y'all had one kid, and y'all had your you had your daughter when y'all were younger. No, so no, 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 all, no, 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 no. Hold all on, of, all, wait, Carrie. all of that, all of that matters. I'm trying to tell Carrie, you. Carrie, four, Carrie. four kids in. Carrie. Energy level forty one. Hold on, Carrie. Different Carrie, than Carrie. when I was twenty eight. Carrie, let's be real though. Let's be a hundred. First of all, let's let's really talk about the type of women that's talking about what they're talking about. A lot of these women are talking about they want to be kept and they not even talking about kids related to the situation. And then I say, OK, well, what is it that you're going to be doing all day? Because it ain't like you got to take care of no young kids or nothing like that. And they act like they be doing a lot. Like what you doing? Yeah, I don't get that part. Yeah, I, 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 don't get dirty. It don't even get dirty. It don't even get like that. I don't, yeah. I don't understand. These women couldn't hold a match to Ruthie uh, from back in the day. Because she'll be out in the field eight hours a day and still hit the reverse cowgirl for 20 minutes. Like, y'all be up there for <laughs> two minutes and be tired. Y'all like half of one of them is, but we, we don't complain about that. And they all still I'm saying, All I'm saying is things have gotten so easy for women. And I, I'm trying to understand where the, why is anybody complaining? Why? Think, things like, have gotten easier for me. y'all work from home. Like you know what I'm saying? Like okay, a lot of y'all, yeah, yeah. a lot of y'all be chilling. You get the HR job, and then your boss scream on you. Hold on, like, hold on! Don't be knocking my HR job. Don't be. I, yo, I love working from home. You be firing people like hold me. On. I love working from home. But my my point is, is that listen, I see more women um, doing makeup makeup story times on TikTok than ever before. They got a lot. Of, they got a lot of time to be talking. So, I'm. I just edited one today too. And Anton, they, Anton, the crazy thing about it, they be at work when they be doing that. You just be on hold. <laughs> don't, don't, don't call, I'm gonna tell you about that call center. That call center coach is different. <laughs> Them folks, listen. My my wife, she was working call center, bro. We used to have whole little sessions. And she got a personal hold. Like, like, that was <laughs> not just women. I know guys who did the same thing. Come that on, was a call man. center thing. No, that was yeah. a call center thing. That was not just women. Mid that call, uh, man, that call center culture is different, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, shout out to that bro. Go ahead, Kenise. I know you wanted to say something. Sure, no, no, no. no. He, asked the question. he asked the question. Anton asked the question. He said, why are people complaining? And it goes back to what I said earlier. It, it is because people are losing. They are there's something that they want that they are not getting, so they have to complain. They're losing, so it's like, yo, why is it like this? I want it this way, but they can't have it that way. That's just really all it is. Whether it comes to men, for I mean, when it comes to their relationships with men, friendships, hell, even complaining that niggas are sassy when they argue with women because they lose in a fucking argument. Like it, it don't make no damn sense how we just saw Anton and Two K literally argue right, right, just now arguing about it. Right. And guess what? Everything cool. It wasn't sassy. But when they still have that same argument, just an actual argument, just to communicate with a woman, a person with a vagina, all of a sudden you sassy. it's like, no, I'm just I'm just having this conversation. That's just how niggas talk. But we do. I guess we do need to be. We do need to. Y'all want us to bend over backwards and we don't fold. Y'all don't stand on business. Even if we wrong, we'd be like, nah, but I'm sure I'm right until we're proven wrong. That's when we'd be like, all right, you got it. Hey, I, I like this nigga, man. 
I mean, it just, it just, it, but it, oh, it just I, I like this it just thing, real. right? So mm -hmm. why we're complaining is because we're taking an L somewhere that we are not happy about. Mm. You heard? Y'all think man? men should do less complaining? Huh? You said what? Y'all think men should do less complaining? Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I could agree with that. I could agree. Well, with wait, that. wait, 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 wait. It depends. Uh -huh. on, it depends on where you at. Like, if you're talking about in person, yeah. But I don't think that men should be silenced just because women think that they they a sassy. Absolutely. We didn't not. say silence. Complaining. Yeah. Complaining. Most women want us but, to shut up. How many times have you heard? That's uh, correct. Women uh, complain. Take the nigga podcast equipment because yep. we, now we we voicing our opinion. Yeah. Yep. They, 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 exactly. they, they, they conflate complaining with telling the truth. I love that's communication, and, and that's exactly how Kevin Samuels blew up. Right there, they complained so much about him oh, that they made shit. him a millionaire. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> this is what happened. <laughs> like that three billion niggas on one pound. Oh, Lord. How <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the panel, Logic. All the way from Germany. Hey, man. Ain't, ain't oh, no man. telling what country this nigga is. You know what time it is? Hey, man. It's five o'clock, man. Good job. Way to yeah. wake up. So that's how much I love you, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> well, well, I say I think a lot of I think it's a lack of leadership too within the men. I think it's the lack of discipleship among men and good role model, good men mo role models. That's actually like something I'm gonna talk about in the book I've been talking about is like that men do need good upstanding role models. And I really think people that they tend to have flocked to like a KS, like a Kevin Samuels, were not good role models at the end of the day. I mean, um, if you look at their whole life, you look at what did their children say, what did their fruit show? You know, he didn't have a full successful marriage, right? He didn't mm -hmm. have, his kids said that he wasn't a good daddy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you know what this is what I don't like. Y'all just be making stuff up. To show you that they are you, good in what they're doing. From? They have successful marriages to prove mean. that they're a good husband. You, they have happy kids. Where you get that from? That when, did his kid, when did his kids ever say that he wasn't anything? Yeah, she got it from the book. When he passed, his, his kids said that they he wasn't around. Where? What's the name of the Who was the kid? Where? His daughter. I know his daughter. Uh oh. You done okay. fucked up. You done fucked up. I you heard know. that you said that he was not who a you good father. Who you hear from? Who you hear from? Who you not hear even from? like physically abusive. Who you, who you hear from? Who you hear from? Her. And telling a friend or family. Where was she like at? this is a video that came out about her talking about it right after he passed. I don't know. Maybe she rejected you're lying. it. You're lying. I haven't been able to find any videos of her or pictures or she's anything. She's lying. She's lying. First she heard it. Well, how do you know video. she's lying? I mean, Anton really, really knows Kevin Samuels, though. <laughs> That's the thing. I got. I literally. I just <laughs> got a car from his mother. You, his daughter now. is the one that inherited his entire estate. No, no. He actually really knows him, though. Like. But like, even if you know this person, they can be put on the front. That's what I'm saying. You don't know who they are behind closed doors. You don't know how they are with their children. So you know who he is? I'm just saying I would rather take the person who actually is has been under his fathership and their word over... You, you haven't know, seen her say anything. Like, like, the 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 if she did say something, that would have went viral. Let's just be honest. If she did say something, all the women hate her. I would have heard about it. We it would have went viral if she did say something. That, that's just, something say, just, say, just say you hate the fact that every video that he talked about hit you a certain type of way, mm. and stop trying to add in a bunch of stuff that ain't true. You was you upset at the fact at the stuff that he was saying tapped you, and it was in reference to a lot of the shit that you talking about today, and you not just gonna get that off. No, I heard I heard that, and that's what made me start looking for like the daughter and I could never find, I could never find a picture, a video. The stuff that I saw was like, there's no way I'm going to just believe that this Listen, is. I, I, the I mama, his mother, his, 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 his family, family is killing. 
He didn't have his a family good is not, not listen. We're not gonna speak on the dead man that came to bet that came to defend himself. His family is chilling. They doing just fine. They ain't got no problems. They ain't, they ain't got no issues. Daughter is cool. Mom's is good. Everybody is straight. Well, yeah. I'm just saying he didn't have a successful marriage, but why don't we look to men who are successfully married? I'm successfully married. No, besides 2K, we can't look at you. Even well, then, well, I feel okay, like men don't let, really... I, that's y'all big yeah, guy, father. I'm sorry for attacking him. But in general, this community of men, they need better role models. They need people to follow. And discipleship is important in a young man's life. And I think that's missing. I do agree with her. Your father is missing from the We home. got the same talking points, and I am successfully married, and you still don't listen. So what's the difference? Mm. But yeah, I think you you said, but I think it's important though, Trigger, and I hate to keep I hate to keep Kevin on the table, but I think that that's that's a part of the 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 issue you're speaking about because you just said it was needed, and if you listen to what Kevin was saying, he wasn't giving men bad advice on how to be great men, in my opinion. In my opinion, he actually did. So, he so, actually did great with men. So in my in, in, amazing in, in my opinion, he he would be one of those guys that you're saying we need to have. So that yeah. and, and I don't want to belabor the Kevin thing since he's not here anymore, but I just I think that that is a part of the problem is we talk about wanting something one way, but at the same time we negate it with the words or you know, like what we talk about. So you may just like you couldn't notice it with Kevin. There may be more men like but, that. But see, and but see the problem. You might be missing that their presence. But it doesn't even matter. You ain't even got to use Kev. She says she got both her parents in her life, and she told us about what it is that she was doing on college campus. So what difference do it make? Wait, hold on. What was you doing on college campus? What's oh, going on? What did I miss? Family. She was trying to. She she was on college campus yeah. trying to goddamn get up some better internet. And get goddamn that. Her, look at her Wi Fi. She talk about Kevin Savers. Everybody's shit is clear. Her shit look like it's dirty as hell. So I don't know why you talking about his name. You know what, man? Let me get off this shit, man. Let me go to work. <laughs> she got the iPhone <laughs> potato, man. Right. When I was in you college and I was just young and stupid and I did a lot of sexual stuff, but I never had intercourse. She just and listen, now, listen. Not like not I not said, like I said, head monster. Like I said, the truth is oh. the truth. Truth is the truth, regardless of how you feel about it. And the reality is, going back to the original talking point, there are a lot of feminine men. I believe that it is a lot of men that that exhibit I mean, feminine quality. What? What she said? <laughs> why, why you want to do this? Don't do it to her. Not, I don't why y'all put me on panel with trigger man? No, I mean I don't know did why you, she wants to do this. Did you just slide in about Kevin? Yeah, huh? she, she said it. She said don't it. Don't do that, Trigger. No, 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 no. Let her, let her get it off. I mean, know what I'm saying. I'm not saying he was gay, but he had men in the I'm, I'm not saying that that made him gay, but he did, and everybody saw that. <laughs> <laughs> I I, I, listen, I, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be alive if I say he didn't have. He he wasn't the most masculine people, but like that, that that was his that was his persona. So that don't make him gay though. And that was one more point I was gonna make about because well, he knew how to win the hell out of and some of these things aren't inherently feminine. Like it's okay if you have certain mannerisms, it's okay see, if you wanna be but that's why he, most in tune with your emotions, like that doesn't make you feminine. Like true. But a lot of toxic masculinity will have you feeling like you can't express your emotions, and that's what gets you messed up in the first place. I don't okay. know. That nigga, my frat brother, he went out in some pussy. That's a hell of a way to go out. So, shout out to him. Hey, I can, oh, I can. have mercy. He came in some pussy and went out in some pussy. Bro. Come on, man. Uh, Hello. Hello. Real, real Let me get to this yeah. super chat. Super chat. Super chat. Super chat in the next topic. No. The crossover I did not expect AD and Kenise went on 100K. Hey, Miss Q showing... I need my glasses. No, I can't see y'all. Hey, Miss Hughes, showing some love since I'm still up and probably sleep when you read it. If so, I will finish watching the show in the AM. Thank you, ma'am. Anton, that's cap. You're wrong in the fact of having multiple women. God made women because he said man should not be alone. So it was a blessing, not a curse to have a woman. The first person to have multiple wives wasn't until 900 years after Adam. 
Thank you, sir. Oh, that's not true. Um, he did say it's not good for men to be alone, but it had nothing to do with having multiple wives. That's number one. Number two, there was multiple people that God favored in the Bible itself that did have multiple wives. Number three, when he was speaking about not having multiple wives in the New Testament, he was referring to the leadership in the church. Um, mm -hmm. you, could, you could bring that back up. I could speak to every single point that he talked about. I kind of unstarted. Okay, I, I'll deal with that later. He replied but again, though. No, we gonna. But, he, but, he but, but the point is, is that um, I forgot all of the stuff that he said. Hey, so that he commented again. You can comment on this one. It, Shout it, out to you. Put that one. Damn, where the comments go? Um, Adam and Eve didn't even know they were naked till after the sin Eve did. Man's nature to have multiple women is due to the lustful nature of flesh. It comes what? from sin. Never what God intended. How can it be a sin to look at a woman with lust would have multiple wives? It's not about looking at a woman with lust. It's about, listen, it, it's so much deeper and it's so, because I don't want to deep dive into the Bible and the scripture specifically. Um, the nature of men is to have as much as possible. It's to conquer. It's to populate, right? And and even Abraham himself, right? One of the most favorite in which God said that his seed would number the earth, which we then knew that manifestation was after Jesus died. And then it also gave uh, the Jew and the Gentile alike the, the ability to get, to get saved. And we all became seeds of Abraham. Um, all men in the word of God outside of maybe Noah were, and I'm not talking about the New Testament. I'm talking about the Old Testament were men that essentially had concubines, wives, and so on and so forth. And so if you're telling me that the most celebrated men and the greatest men in the word of God didn't, and that God actually spoke down upon it, then you're a lie. You're absolutely a lie. So should men have multiple wives? Well, I don't know. I don't want to hear that many women talk at a time. That is it's not. not that, it's not. Shit men <laughs> Hell no. I'll be tired, And the question shouldn't be should men have multiple wives. The question that we're trying to answer because it's not that everybody on here believes in the word of God, so it doesn't even fly for everybody else. The question that we that we ask in ourselves from the very beginning is what is the nature of men? That's the question that we should be asking ourselves. Mm -hmm. What is the nature of men, and what are the nature of women? And why are we trying to change that? Because it's a difference between having discipline and also understanding what the nature of something is. Okay. So okay. what is the, well, I'm assuming that the nature of the man is that he will want more than one woman, right? Is that what you're saying? Uh, well, not, not, he might want one woman, but he might uh, desire more, more pussy than no. one woman. I guess what I'm what I'm what I'm getting at, right? The because nature of men is to spread they seed. That's the nature of a man. Spread it with one woman. Oh, Most right. men can't so, even handle multiple women. So what, like why? What, what, what I'm really what I'm really because y'all got to get handled. Nobody want to be raising no pit bulls. What the fuck? But you, so and why we gotta have people? And yeah, why y'all yeah, always exactly? And why y'all always say we can't handle? Them? See that's because you guys can't. But y'all don't know about like the science of men's anatomy. Like y'all don't know about. If y'all had a dick, y'all wouldn't even know what to do. You can't I'm even afford multiple women. That's one. You it don't y'all shouldn't be costing. First of all, prostitutes. <laughs> Come on now, <laughs> Mary Magdalene. Come on now. Come on. Yeah, how, how, much, how much did Eve have to pay to have sex with Adam? Oh my God. Oh, we my to have a penis. Y'all not understanding like, it. Y'all not understanding. I have a vagina. That thing is hard. The thing, the thing that when you look at the word and you actually study it. Men were never shamed for having multiple women. Women were shamed for being a prostitute or for being a harlot. Mm -hmm. Men were never shamed. The only thing that they were really shamed for was coveting another man's wife. Facts. They were never shamed for having another woman. Women were always shamed if they ever had another man. Y'all not really paying attention to the context that we have in this conversation. It's not about right or wrong. It's about nature. That's what we're talking about. It's not within a, a normal woman's nature to want to get fucked on by a whole bunch of men. Okay. Un unless they were broken at some point in their life. Once you get jail broke like you a fucking hellcat, anybody can step on the gas. 
Yeah. Okay, so but okay, whoa, whoa, so, whoa! Can we finish your super chat? Oh, go ahead, go now ahead, you have dick now, so don't even know why. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Let's get a super chat, bro. These weaves make some black women looking like trans. Is it me? Ooh. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> The blue collar workers tend to have the masculine men you are referring to, but they get dragged the most in dating conversation. Mm, oh, ish, great value. Umar is here. What up, Logic? <laughs> man, <laughs> man, I gotta send something tonight. My dog, Logic, in the building. Salute. Um, uh, Miss Piggy needs to trigger head game top notch. Joking, you can fly a plane through trigger's gap tooth. God damn, what is your age? Hey, back before speaking on a Mac. Rest in these miserable nappy wigs, brains, KS. They back, they beady bed coalition still gonna expire alone. Do y'all want reparations or not? Can we do two things at once? So want reparations and your car to go earn our own. Going back to the house, Negroes. Here goes Pierre again. Just because God allowed it to happen does not mean it was intended. He allowed Sodom and Gomorrah, but he eventually burned it down. Paul was one of the greatest, yet he wasn't even married. Men's nature is a sinful nature. I like you, Pierre. Of course and you do. only slept with the handmaiden because Sarah couldn't have children. Once Sarah had her, her first child, he had to send the other one away. No, that's Shout not why. He's wrong. He's wrong. Because God had already promised, and her name wasn't Sarah, it's Sarai. And then God later changed it into Sarah. But the fact of the matter is God had already promised her that she would have a child. And then she she actually sinned against God by telling and laughing and, and saying, well, will God bless me with a child in my old age? And mm -hmm. she sinned against God by requiring, asking for Abraham or, or allowing for Abraham to have the handmaiden because she didn't trust God. And then again, he hearkened unto the voice of his woman, which was also the sin, which then caused for God to have to do what it is that he had to do because then she got jealous and she had to send him away because she wanted to sin against the, the, the handmaiden that she allowed for Abraham to have. So you got to understand the context. And because I know the whole word and I know exactly what the stories were saying, I know what was happening. She sinned against God and she was like, yo, I don't believe that God is going to bless me with this child, even though he told me that he would in my older age. She didn't believe in a miracle. The entire time by which Abraham was on the earth, she was always sinning and always not believing. And he had to carry her ass across in order to get her to do the right thing. Okay. So listen, you can throw these little Bible stories out if you want to, but I understand the real word. I study it. I know exactly what happened. That's what really happens. It wasn't that he went out and got another woman. It was that she didn't believe. That's what really happened. She didn't believe. And that leads into our next topic. When mm. Slim Thug said that women are being the new man. Boom. We want your To this day, we want to do the marriage. We want to do the truth. The, the no that we did in the 1900s like grandma and him. But the truth is, the world is toxic. It's a lot different than it was. It's a lot more access. It's a lot more not giving a Women are now the new men. They now, they you've been cheating on them for a hundred years, and now they got the money, and now they the new and now they don't care about you crying and saying, ah, oh, you hurt my feelings. They just uh, come and see Sugar Daddy Slim. And then she looked like the most precious thing on earth, but she the most gangster thing on earth. She she looked like uh, Beyonce, but think like sexy red. That's what today's world is. Mmm. <laughs> He he, he, was on, Disagree. he he was on some Derek Jackson shit. He was a uh, wait. He so was, he's not true. He's not right. Women yeah. nowadays are moving like men. Fuck, yeah, you got some that that's the that's the screwing they sell, trying to do it. But the he's majority, absolutely like, right. Uh, this is what's wrong with y'all. Hear the fuck. This is what's wrong with y'all, dick and pussy niggas. Now nah. he <laughs> white. He not. But he not, he not telling y'all why. See, the reason is this. In today's society, the government and technology is taking over the normal responsibilities that man had in life. I said that. So now, a hoe don't need you no more. Because I keep telling y'all motherfuckers a long time ago, she called 911 for protection. You know what I'm saying? She going out there getting her job. She going. The, the society is replacing the man. But also on the other end, the society is replacing a woman. When I was a young jit, and I used to look at a woman and think about getting married, I thought about like a, you know, I got somebody that's cooking, 
you know what I'm saying? I got somebody that's clean and all that kind of shit like that. I don't need that shit no more. I got DoorDash. I got child service. I got all kind of shit. You don't need no bitch no more but for some pussy. And now bitches don't need niggas no more but for some dick because they're trained through our society and our governmental system. The way it's set up is it replaced all the traits that a man normally had. All right. But the flip side of that, though, is that if you talk to a lot of these women that's actually operating like that and they putting on a good front, they hey, dying on. to get that shit up. I swear. They dying to get that shit up. They don't want to do it. They doing it because they feel like they have to in order to put on a good face. Most of the women, if you talk to them and say, hey, listen, do you want to have to work? They're going to say, fuck no. Mm -hmm. I'd rather get this up to have that soft life. They prefer it. I don't you know think that that they want to do I believe that too. But what I'm saying now, I'm seeing them saying that. See, this is not the age we was raised in. Well, Brenda's got a baby and all that shit like that. The whole fucking um, Linda B. Johnson, uh, uh, Great Society, that's dead. These mm -hmm. bitches right now saying they don't want kids. They, they don't aspire to have families. They don't aspire to have I nothing. Don't think so, Logic. So, no, if you look at the way the Slim Thug nigga said, they want to get out there and chase the bag. They want to okay, do so, what they traditionally did. So that let, me was ask you a let me ask you a question. Um, I, I read some stats that basically said that the overwhelming majority of the people that's getting evicted in Atlanta, Phoenix, and, um, you know, because the rent moratorium was up from the pandemic, is all women, mostly women, right? Most of the people that was asking for their student loans to be forgiven was women, yeah. right? And now that all of that shit is coming to a head, they fucked up, right? They getting evicted, they broke, they getting their car, most of them is getting their cars repossessed. I don't believe that they actually getting it. They chasing the bag because they that's what they got to do. When I look at the Dreas, when I look at these old hoes that's going back and trying to get these young niggas to get them pregnant, that should tell me that they looking for a come up. They not working. But less women are having they really it, working. Most though. some of them is getting it, and they don't like the fact that they got to work as hard that they got to do to get bingo. It. But and bingo. others, others are trying to trap a nigga in order to try to get them to marry him or finesse a nigga to, to try to get them pregnant. But Anton, well, that's slim though. He said some key though. He said some key. You said it right. Them old hoes. But what you the think young hoes? The young hoes are going to visit to be old. They just ain't transformed into no. old hoes yet. The young hoes, bro. I know, Let me tell I, know you know. I see somebody in the chat. Natasha said, Dre is one woman out of millions. Let me tell you something, bro. I'm courtside every night. They trying to get trapped. Let, listen. And, they, and they doing it. It's regular. Rita, she's sitting right here next to me. I took my homegirl to the game with me. Niggas is in their DMs. All of the, the basketball players is in the DMs before we can even get to the fucking bathroom. But Anton, less people are having kids nowadays. No, they're no, not. No, Women no, are no, having more no, kids no, out of wedlock. Let's show that. they having no. kids out of wedlock. Q? Q listen. I, okay. Q, you a, you a rare bird. I don't know no woman that's in her 30s that ain't got a kid. I know a couple no, women. I, I know a I lot know. of them. I don't know a lot of women. That, fact, I don't know a lot of women. That's just what every single woman that got a fucking microphone on the podcast got to keep. <laughs> That's a baby mama. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm going to tell you yeah. how rare you is. Man. A nigga will look at you and still pass you by because they were like, she 30. Why the fuck ain't no nigga believe her? Something wrong with her she ain't got no kid. Well, yeah, that yeah. That I don't, I don't, nah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, Anton made a good point, though. He right. Every woman that's on these panels that got a microphone got kids, right? Facts. But I guarantee you them, I guarantee you this, they over 30. Them 20-year-olds right now, when I was coming up, all them bitches had babies. All them hoes had babies. In high school, they I see them having babies now, bro. No, they don't. They ain't doing that shit no more. They see my, and said, they, they, they want to fix the bag. I'm like, you. This is my generation. I'm going to tell you the only difference about them. They get pregnant and go to Six Flags until they start spotting. That's well, the only not, fucking hey, difference. We're not what? talking about them getting get on holes. No, but they wait, still wait, getting wait. pregnant. We're not talking about them get on holes on your show. See, on your show, 2K, if you haven't seen the 2K show, you yeah. see the most ghettoest, 
ratchetest bitches running around there fighting all day. Them hoes that you show on your show, I got it. But they do not represent the majority of women. I will also add this in there. Them hoes is getting pregnant. They just not going through with it. I just told them. That's how you hear. No. No. Some of them is getting pregnant. That's, that's how you hear. <laughs> That's all I I shouldn't be laughing at that. I agree with that. With Slim Thug, only because women can't be men. They try so hard. They try so hard to be like us, think like a man and all that, and they still fold each time. Most of the time, they're only doing that, again, because the nigga that they really want, they can't get, or he doesn't want to treat her right. So she's mad, and so she tries to stay to herself. But most women want to be with somebody. They want to be with somebody. Most niggas want to be with a lot of people. That, and that's that, where the clash, that's where the clash comes in. So now here we go talking about women still. Man, she ain't met the nigga who she really likes that like her back. That's fact, all it is. If fact. a woman is treating you like you really not, you like, okay, well shit, I don't give a fuck about your feelings. I'm just fucking you this. And, she don't like you like that, bro. She really just don't like you like that. I don't care if she a hoe or nothing. She changes her whole life. She can be a serial killer. She gonna change her whole life around a nigga that she likes. That's all it is. Facts. Overnight. No, it's not. We no, it's not. Who we are. We gonna stay no, who we listen, are. We ain't listen, gotta bro. answer nobody. Tell, do you know how many poverty stricken women a good eight think they like to change the stripes? It it might it might fool you for a bit. It might throw some chameleon on you. But I'm telling you, the core nature of who she is is who she is. You might get trick, tricked, right? Because there's plenty of women that switch over and go to a different city and then they got a whole new identity. But the core of who she is is the same. I don't know what y'all talking about that y'all out here changing the nature of a woman because she like you. That ain't changed shit. You don't know these hoes. The, you don't know no, these I do. Oh, I do. <laughs> oh, I do. Oh, I do. These poverty stricken hoes will change their life for a nigga like me, you, and Logic. And, and, and you know, but they, you gotta realize. And they give up too problem. quick. Hey, but this is the problem we do, though, they 2K. They give up too quick. They in the club with my y'all, uncle. Y'all, y'all, y'all think that y'all do it. They gave up. Problems, we, we, no, no, we not changing them. They rebranding. They gonna rebrand for, for not, a nigga. Not, I'm no, I know they don't. Hey, what y'all problem is, though, is what y'all do. Is y'all try to represent all bitches with the gorillas and the sexy reds? Exactly. Like you niggas can't do that. See, like, see, like that's why I can't. Like, like two K. I can look at your show, right? I can laugh, but I know that's a small demographic of ghetto bitches, right? That I know now. That I know now. That it's a lot of bitches. See now, if we was talking about this shit when I was growing up, probably when y'all was growing up too. Nigga, well, we, all, nigga, we, we all know that this ain't gonna be. It was all bad. nigga. All these hoes, nigga. You can nut on the floor and the bitch step in it. She got pregnant. Now these hoes ain't doing it no more. It, hey. It's a different world. These hoes ain't getting no babies. Wait, she stepped like, in. Like, you just no. talking bullshit. No. Hold on, hey. hold on. I'm don't be talking. You. Logic, don't no, be no, talking. Two K, two K, two K, two K. Before you go, before you go, you remember when we was coming up. Yeah, you you can nut on the wall, and that bitch turn up pregnant. I I remember that, but see, <laughs> that, listen, 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 I believe, don't be acting like y'all was better than us. I just seen the Freak Nick documentary on Hulu. What is this? Not on the wall. What was y'all just I, having horrible I mean, pull out games? Hold on, I, I, I just seen I, I just seen the Freak Nick bro oh. documentary on Hulu. Y'all generational women were no better than I. Yep, I'm telling you, it was what they so, might hey, have been a little worse. They might have been a little worse. Yes, and them bitches, them bitches smelt nut and get pregnant. Uh, they they, they did get pregnant. Let's have standards now. So, hey, look, why, hey, why none of these new niggas never made a remix to Brenda's Got a Baby? Cause ain't no more of them hoes. No, no, they, they, they just don't care about Brenda. Right here, bro. <laughs> Listen, bro, they plan being it up. We got better, we got different technology now. How do y'all know that though? Are y'all just saying that listen, listen, listen? These women, I don't know what y'all talking about, bro. 
you can't throw a penny in the crowd without that chick being pregnant. Her, she pregnant and her mama pregnant at the same time. But I thought you said, Anton, you once said that men are having less sex. So make that make sense. No, 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 no. I, I think that the same niggas is fucking all of the chicks and getting them pregnant. I and keep telling y'all that. Oh, Listen, I every, every, look, look, look. If you go into the bar, go into any bar in any city in America, popular town, small town, Mm-hmm. And then you go to next weekend, and you go to next weekend. Same it's people, be the same niggas there. Mm-hmm. They serial fuckers. Like yeah. it's, it's it's all the same. And when they see a new chick come in there, it's she easy. fresh me mm-hmm. because they know that she ain't never been in there. She probably not even supposed to be there. Yeah, um, but I would, you, I would, it's it's less having sex, but I would say it's involuntary. I think they're more afraid to go out what? and because all this stuff on the internet about women are all bad and and or they just feel like they can't approach these women. And I think it's a lot more people who are involuntary celibate men who you are, are involuntary. Crazy, girl. Crazy, Anton, girl. wait, Anton, you did say a lot of men don't know how to talk to women. A no, lot of men cool. ain't having sex. Exactly. Are we talking? Okay, what what y'all talking about? Let's talk about the majority. A majority men having sex nowadays. Yes or no? N- no, but it's a it's okay, a then. wait wait wait. No, it's not just the okay. Then you got to add the context. There's some guys that's not doing it because they choose or not to put themselves in that position. Okay, okay that's great. There's some guys that's not doing it because they just not comfortable going outside. Right? That's There's a lot that. of different types of guys. That can make up a demographic of dudes that's not getting boxed on a regular basis. Some people is like it's a thing about semen retention and, and holding back and all of that stuff. That's a real mm-hmm. thing. I know dudes that can get boxed whenever they want. That's like, you know what? I'm chilling. I, I need to no, focus on I love dudes. that. I, I love men for doing that. Now, do you think most women are having sex? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. <laughs> If most men are not having sex, how are most women having sex? Because they fucking one dude. Because, they, yeah, they're fucking the same. So all these the, women, uh, uh, one uh, woman, uh, one guy like you, logic is messing with. Y'all, okay, y'all are That doesn't make any sense. Listen, cuz, listen, listen. Hey. When I was back home, I had a rotation, l- l- literally. I'm talking about six at a time. I was one dude fucking all of them, and all of them were faithful to a single nigga. So just because I was popping, I had access to all these chicks, and they went with me, but I didn't go with them. So if that was the case, 2K, if that was the case, 2K, if more women are having sex, um, that means the abortion levels will be higher. The pregnancy levels will be higher. It's not adding up. Dog, what Planned Parenthood the and the clinic is, it, listen, the clinic is like the club. Hey, hey the clinic, have, you the have you seen the stats? Have you seen the Planned stats? Planned Parenthood on? and the clinic is like, it's like the gym. I, I'm definitely VIP in that bitch because you ain't well, lying. This, this, is, this is the <laughs> point that, this is what Anton is leaving out though. The reason, I don't, I think none of them having sex no more. You know why? Because these motherfuckers is in a house on YouTube and TikTok. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Listen, like, listen, 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 listen. And they, they look, look, they probably got more pussy pics in their phone. See, these niggas don't know how to get out and do it no more. See, when I when I was coming up, you know what I'm saying? I used to leave a mall nigga have numbers in my phone. You know what I'm saying? We used to get called up. I, I was pen and I, paper. We used to write that shit paper. down. These yep. niggas don't know what an ink pen look like nowadays. That's a fact. Well, they don't know how to get women. They don't know how to talk to women. That's true. Let me tell you. These new niggas get women satisfied. Women are shooting they shot, bro. We don't. You you think that it, dog. Anton, you know. They shoot and they shot. Anton, but you, this goes against what you said. Most of the men aren't shooting their shot. Most of the men aren't having sex. Most of the men would rather try on social media. Yeah, that's cool. They're shooting their shot at the same men. Anton, these. And so, what y'all trying to tell me is that women ain't fucking. They are. Who said that? Q. I said, I said, our majority of women. I asked a majority of women having sex, and you guys said yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
It's an absolute. A lot of them are not doing as much as they do. Yes. They are again. They're, they're tired fucking, of y'all. They're fucking the high percentage. I'm sorry. Most of these women can't the have sex with a high percentage of them. Like, we forget about it. it. Hey, 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 we'll talk, hey, y'all always do. say men fuck anybody. Hold on, hold on, women, Kenise, hold on, Kenise, Kenise, hold on, okay. hold on, Kenise. Where are all the virgins at? We got right. one here, Trigger. She's not a virgin. She's Where all sure. the, no, no, no. I'm just curious. Where are all the virgins at? <laughs> okay, just because they've had sex a couple times doesn't mean they're busting it open for Tom, Jen, Re, Ho, exactly. Joe, Ho, whoever. That don't mean nothing if you're not a virgin. I don't hurt at least. Hey, Trigger, I you, 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 you a virgin? Trigger, you a virgin? She's a virgin in, in the general, not the mouth. I don't hurt all the time. Uh, and she I'm don't look like no goddamn virgin. I know how a virgin look like, and they don't look shit like her. <laughs> women I have heard have said that they are stopping sex they are done because these men like it's bad out here and a lot of women are just choosing not to have sex listen, like that anymore I get into a relationship with Let me mute her for one and, second. can I say Let one me. thing some of these women don't even need to have sex with these men to get what they Dude, want don't, don't you know that honest. every woman that yeah. regret having sex every weekend say that they're gonna stop having sex until they have sex the next week okay weekend. cool cool but they anyway, always go back Okay, cool. But you Anton, go back. Men. Anton, you don't have to have sex to get some of the stuff you need to with these men. These men are simps nowadays. You want to get your rent paid? Dude, you don't have dude, to have sex. You want to go out to dinner? Niggas that got access to y'all, that's always going to have access. Okay. That's a fact. Why okay. do you think that the only reason she says she ain't having sex no more is because he ain't choose her? Oh, I'm giving, oh, I'm so sick of these niggas. I'm not. Until the next weekend, and that nigga hit her up and he, she going right, right back. Okay. And when a woman really do stop having uh, sex, it's because she got bum, bum, bum. she got herpes. <laughs> Let, let's be honest. <laughs> she got herpes. Hey. That's the only reason a woman herpes. just stopped fucking out the blue. Is that, that is that what happened to you, two K, when you got the bum bum bum? I ain't never had that. Bum, bum, bum. No sir. Nah, everything, everything gotta had to be curable. Oh, okay. that's, that's okay. ironic how Diddy on that song, but whatever. Yeah, now, yeah. Um, even even then, even then though, on the cool, like women are fucking more, and they have more options, right? The average guy, I think I read a stat, the average guy only slept with four people in their life. It was some wild back in 2015. I don't know where they getting these stats from either, because me neither. Y'all really can't none of this. Hey, hey, and here go the thing: you can ask Q this. Because I ain't never been surveyed. We went to this. We went to college, right? Why college? And um, I'm gonna tell you this: that was the craziest time of my life. Like, and it was a white the, college. Say that. And, yeah, it was white, and we mm -hmm. were just fucking with the black folk. And what happened? Uh -huh. It was crazy out there. And everybody, there was plenty of triggers there too. They were Q doing the same know. exact thing, baby. And uh, um, and Q, everybody, Q had friends that were going crazy. That did you know that Q? By the way, I know. Okay, okay, cool. Friends, what was gay? Nah, nah. What, what was you doing, Q? Yeah, Q was oh, no, going I crazy. Had I had one boyfriend the whole five years. Okay, now, now tell us about the rest of the niggas. Oh, no, no, no. no. Hey, tell us about that nut. Tell on, us about that on, nut you on. stepped on. Hold on. Just <laughs> <laughs> because I hooked people up with girls don't mean they were my friends. I was just, what do they call it, a madam? When they toss girls but you, you was pimping hoes yeah, out I wasn't pimping. I was helping oh, the security Lord, girls out. Nice. I was saying, you know... She's a good guy. No. Nah. Cue for to get all the Frico charges. Not Rico. Frico. <laughs> she hey. for to get us indicted. Oh, no, my God. All I'm saying is that was a wild place. I said them girls were wild. I said even though it was a white college, them don't knock the HBCU because them white girls be busted it wide open and them black girls at them colleges. Don't, don't knock the white college now. It was it was crazy out there, and Colin what I crazy, saw women bro. doing, and what I saw women doing for the same group of people or whatnot was wild. Is all I'm trying to say. He's so that's why I'm saying so. That's why is you got to break you got to break it down. So okay, women were getting tossed within the fraternity brothers by 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 the football players, and so what happened is is that you that's you see right. this, and it, and it was literally it was literally the same guys that were getting a whole bunch, and a whole bunch of guys were just you know. Sharing the women. No, but see, that's, that's, that's y'all acting like something wrong with that. That's true across the board. 
if you take yeah, young women, there's nothing wrong with that. Of, if you take young women out of their house and you put them away from their parents and get them a dorm room, true. Because he, I, I just picked another route. I picked the military route. Guess what they was doing? The yeah. same shit, even worse. You know what I'm saying? That's, oh that's yeah, the army is well. if you bad. take. Hold on, one minute, because you look like you know what I'm saying one of them bad girls. But look, if you don't take, know me, I don't, <laughs> don't take it, trigger. I never went to the army, but I don't heard a story. I, I would have called that dude. I seen like, trigger in my like, bag. Yeah, trigger looked like the one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we can't yeah. stand dude. I ain't trigger. the one. All right, but it, I, I think it's the same across the board, though. But on, on I mean, to the to what old boy was really talking about the transformation of women to men, I'm telling you, is because men today don't do what they did 30, 40 years ago. Nothing is required. I keep saying we live in a total police state. Nothing is required of men. You know what I'm saying? And then these women now can duplicate the same thing. So now the need for men is going down. And now the need for women is also going down too because we don't need a bitch to cook no more because I can pop open DoorDash and I got 200 restaurants that can deliver in 15 fucking minutes. I mean, but so, you don't got DoorDash right now. So what are you doing with and, that? <laughs> and you, DoorDash ain't in Germany. So you struggling. So imagine if we got rid of all this, all this BS and imagine what it would look like. It's not going away, though. But, but brother logic, does. the reason why brother logic, the reason why I think yo uh, idea on this where it suffers at is because women are still thirsty for relationships, while men are thirsty for sex. So we hold the key to the relationships, and we we don't even trade that in because nothing is required. So women are like, well, I'm gonna just give you sex because I really want this relationship and this lifestyle and the baby and the home and the, and the marriage. Even if she fake in the front, she's still gonna revert back to that because damn it. I want this relationship. All right, I'm gonna give you some coochie. Hopefully, you'll give me. Hopefully, you give me the relationship. Let me give up coochie. It ain't even. Yeah. On, that's also emotion. true. So, so look, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. You seem like you seem like you're a smart man. Think about this, right? Okay. You seem like you're a smart man. Think about this, right? Okay. We raise women today. Our society, not you as an individual. You as an individual, you can do your best, but you know, society got more influence of your kids. Would you agree with that? No. Nope. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. I can, I can, I can I'm, understand. I'm just, that. You yeah. can do whatever you want to, but society they gotta go yeah. out. So, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Now watch they this. They got the phone, computer. What is know? society telling your daughter that she has to be? Uh, uh, an independent woman. A uh, independent woman. She running. She getting her bag. She getting her money. Society no. is actually teaching these women to be men. What we consider to be traditional men. Society is raised these to be that way. Look. I went to Afghanistan, and I said this story before. I went to Afghanistan. When we first got to Afghanistan, you know what we did? We put up an all-girls school, right? You know, as soon as we left, you know what the first thing they did? Blew that burnt that down. motherfucker down. As they fucking should. You know why? You know why they burnt it down? Because they want their women to be women. They don't want their women. And see, we'll look at it on the West and say, Oh, they suppressing these bitches. No, them hoes good. You know what I'm saying? Them hoes good over there. You know what I'm saying? Our women out here breaking their back. You know what I'm saying? Our women out here. Look, what's what's the paternity leave policy in fucking America right now? I think it's three weeks. Three weeks. You know what? I don't know. I'm, I'm just guessing. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, wait, wait, wait. It's like a month. Wait, I think it's, it's like six, three months. I got six. I got six. I don't give a fuck, right? Look, so <laughs> that means they still be healing. They go to work, right? Look, it's yeah. a German. Yeah. It's a German hole right across the street. Her baby is riding a bike, and it's I said, "Damn, bitch, what?" I said, "Why you that work?" In Germany, three years. I said, "Why you that work?" She said, "I'm on paternity leave." I said, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> this nigga riding a bike. <laughs> In Germany, it's three years for women. You, you fucked up getting pregnant again in three years. Three years for maternity. Hell no. I don't want to hear my wife out there. Hey, and if we did that here in America, 
Yeah. All I guarantee you be a whole bunch of Britons got a baby. Yeah. <laughs> Pregnant every couple of years. That's a fact. I mean, at the end of the day, I feel like most women don't really even want to work anyways. They just work and waiting until they find a nigga who is just gonna take care of their life. Oh, who they can get task for from. That's why, like I said, I'm Nigerian. This is I see this every day. All my uncles got That's these sugar babies or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? They just want somebody to, hey, yo, look, I like you. You like, just take care of my life. You feel what I'm saying? And a lot of times, especially in this society right now, with Instagram and everything, the way it's going on, all these all these IG models and these uh, social media women influencers, they're putting on this facade that, oh, they're making money, life is great, or whatever, being a boss chick. Whole time, they lie. They, they live, exactly. They either broke, they boutique ain't doing shit. Or they just got a nigga that's funding their whole process, you know, behind them that you don't see. That's really all it is. So, I mean, because here go the thing. could nobody tell me Dre and Michelle wasn't getting money off Mint Swim and fine-ass girls and club bookies and this and that. could nobody. But once she saw that 21-year-old guy in the NBA that's making $10 million right now that's about to sign a $150 million minimum contract this summer. Once she saw that nigga, she was like, wow, he's so mature. I think he could lead me. And she's 40. <laughs> Think about that. You get right. what I'm saying? At the age of 40, a big time entrepreneur, right? At the age of 40, big her her retirement plan was still being a refurbished escort. Like, what is we talking about? You feel what I'm God saying? Damn. Why can't she have that, just fucked so somebody who was cute out. and it was mutual attraction and then so I just fucked. What you what, what major attraction got to do with leadership? He twerk why, 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 why she got to be the victim? NBA young boy. Why she got to be the victim? They had a mutual exchange. Y'all that little nigga crazy. 21. Do you not know how 21 year old think? Trigger, would you be okay if um you had a son that was 21 years old and an old lady like Dre and Michelle that was 40 wanted to have set, had a baby by your son? And she already has two baby daddies. He grown. So no, fuck? would you he care? Grown. That's not what I asked. He yeah, he grown, but would you care? Yes or no? I mean, you yeah, would. would. I'll be you would. Her oldest son is in college right now. They the same age. Her son Why is the same age as him. That's weird. You would. Why Anybody would. would. Somebody? Why won't she and date her, uh, her son's classmate? Why won't she do that? Because there's a difference between her son's classmate and Jalen Green. It has nothing to do with leadership. It has nothing to do with him being cute. It has to do with that nigga just having money. That's same. really all it is. And I ain't mad at it because it's a good deal. That's a this good deal, right. baby. And, and women, listen, we know 90% of them boutiques are funded by sugar daddies. So y'all can stop trying to kick a, <laughs> kick that shit That's to us like y'all some entrepreneurs. We know, yeah, who paying for you. we know who paying for your first two shipments. So stop that bullshit. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't it, it. In, that, in, that, in that Jarrell situation, I think she just probably, to me, she going after the jeans more than anything. You know what I'm saying? If you look at... That if you look too? At, if you look at the success of these basketball players as having kids right now, it's like a 25% chance your kid going, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I, I'm, I'm thinking them whole shooting for jeans, though. Yeah, 20, money, too, but I think it's jeans. Twenty. Wait, wait, wait. I, let, let's just be honest. I don't think these these women are going to be shooting for, oh, my son's going to be an NBA player. It's yes, not is. 25%. It's a less percent chance. These women yeah. are money hungry. They looking at dollar signs. Yeah, I don't. Though. I don't think they're they're gonna go for I'm jeans. Like, I don't think. I don't think they're they're thinking. I don't think they're thinking at it like a, a third like a thoroughbred horse. Like they're not yeah. thinking yeah. about it like a third. They're looking at horse. jeans. Listen, hey, that, that child is gonna be like they ain't. No, I don't think so. In twenty years, she an entrepreneur. She ain't got no other money coming in. That child is gonna be her return on investment. Yes, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Y'all gotta think about it. It's her last coochie hurrah. Thank this you. is her coochie riding out on the sunset. She ain't got to pop that coochie no more for old niggas. She ain't got to pop that coochie Thank no you. more just to pay the light bill. She is done. She Thank can finally you. rest. Listen, what y'all ain't, y ain't breaking up, though. What y'all do is uh, exhale. What y'all ain't, ain't realizing, though, just think about this, though, too. That got to be some good ass pussy, though. Think about hey, it. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. No, no, real no. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Keep it a beat, though. Keep it a beat, though. Keep it a beat. Keep it a beat. Look. Look, 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 look. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold, hold on, 2K. Hold on, 2K. This dude play ball in Houston, the whole capital of the United States. <laughs> Damn, we the whole 
Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Wait, wait, wait. And he good. I see if he was like a. This nigga is a star. Listen, it's that right. ain't no good pussy. That's bro. just a young nigga, bro. No, 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 no. It's just too no, 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 no. no. too big. It. You got y'all. Y'all got to quit playing got, it though. Listen, no, he got all the baby mamas. That ain't shit. Yeah, you know, a little girl came out and said he he got kids on the way. She just add on to the collection. Was that was that confirmed? Yes, this dude big it pussy. Oh my god, can't hear nobody. Can't hear nobody. I got a quick question to the men in the uh, to the men in the uh, on the panel. Have uh, uh, yes or no? Have y'all slept with a woman that was at least five years older than you when you were in your twenties? Oh, okay. Oh, I thought yeah. you was about the same. Over, yeah, they have. They slept with okay when they was younger okay. too. Okay, that's all. That's all. I I'm saying that because <laughs> it's it's different, especially if you're a little younger, right? You sleep with an older woman or whatnot. It's something about that. She teaches you things that you, them old hoes, man, they know what the fuck what they the doing. Hell? That nigga, that's 21 pedos. years old. What brain. are these pedos teaching you guys? Like, no, 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 no. But that's that's what I'm trying to say. He talking about how good that pussy is. He, he just never experienced a bit. First of all, the bitch said, can you remove my slip? He ain't never heard remove my slip. That's number one, right? So his brain already fucked up. She sucked the dick, still looking his eyes on her knees, catch the cum, and don't even wink at this nigga, right? And then turn around, rub his neck, rub his back, and make him something to eat. He ain't never had that from the young No. Bitch. He's new to this. Panice, so he's, no. These young men are, no, these young men are gullible no. and dumb, okay? Let's just be honest. They That's fantasize about these, these Dre and Michelle's, and they can't wait to be with an Instagram baddie, and it, it don't matter what she say, she cannot even say a word, and they're going to want to sleep with her. Let's just be honest. I mean, a lot of men have, good, a lot of men have fantasized I mean, about this. If you look good, they're going to want the pussy. A lot, like, exactly. A lot of men have fantasized about Dre. Dre, 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 Dre is almost at the age where the woman starts smelling like mothballs. That's <laughs> a lot. He, 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 he just, he just <laughs> caught him. I'm telling you, by next week, she going to be asking this nigga to garden. And shit like that or whatever. <laughs> he gonna learn. He gonna learn a good. He gonna learn. Gonna learn. Gonna he gonna learn. Gonna learn. That Listen, was a bad I, was, I used Let to mess with this dude. Chat. I used to mess with this dude, and he was a really oh, good looking guy. Okay, you mess with I, don't, I, don't, I don't believe you. Extremely <laughs> good looking. I got pictures. I got pictures. Okay. <laughs> Hey, 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 did, hey, did, hey, did you have that? Hey, did you have that wig on when but, you met him? But you like all my wigs. I have multiple. Wigs. That's why I want that for you, trigger. He better like all your wigs. But anyway, so he would tell me these stories because women been messing with him since he was like 16, 15. Like his his older his, women, his mama's friends would mess with him because he was so fine. So, but I'm saying all That's his gross. life, he has older women. Take care of him, cook him food, and 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 take him to town. And he loved. And those women need it. to be like, locked up. He was used to be taken care of. Like when I met him, he was like, "Aren't you gonna pay for everything?" I was like, "Nah, bro. We nah. I didn't like that. You gotta pay for me. I'm your date." And so I had to teach him how to date normally because these older women would take care of everything. They would cook Damn. him meals. They would oh, do yeah. everything. So yeah. He was a really good looking man, and they did not yeah. care. They wanted him. Like that's and a also. Older women going also, for younger dudes is a thing, and they love it. Like younger dudes. Also, do your background. Do your background on Dre. Dre has admitted on the Wendy Williams show. Dre has admitted on Breakfast Club, and she was a hoe. She's yes. never denied it. And if there's one thing, every man, Mister Logic, uh, uh, AD, motherfucking Two K, can admit this, and every nigga in the chat can admit this. Hoes got the best personality. My God, bro, you never argue with them. Oh, they geez. funny. Hoes with the high highs. Hoes be funny as hell, bro. Cool. They your friend. And, and see, they make you you're and the problem. You. And you know, no, 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 no. And you wonder why women want to be hoes. That's so you, ridiculous. You wonder why Dre women want to be hoes. They want to be the sexy reds because you guys pedestal hoes. You guys want hoes. You guys give attention to hoes. You guys want side chicks. <laughs> okay. So it's like, this is the problem. Y'all complain about these women out there. But then y'all say stuff like this. No, listen. Like, and it, what, 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 like no, how is women gonna stop? No, these no hoes? hell like, no. Like, it's, not the, hoes. it's not the whole fault that y'all are boring. You think you ESPN, but really you C SPAN. Y'all come on. Y'all are letting these hoes out, do y'all? Yeah, they comedy central. Listen, they they hey, 
Mo- they go most, crazy. Mo- most of the most of y'all got TikTok personality. You learn every fucking thing you know from TikTok. How are they out doing this when you guys are putting them on a pedestal? We not putting you them on a pedestal. Those bitches just funny. They make me laugh. They, they have the best personality. So, so they're not trying to case? argue with you. Uh-huh. They're not trying to be mad about you. Mm-hmm. They understand things. Understanding. They That's cute. Yo, as a matter of fact, you, you know what's crazy. You know what's get crazy? You, get you a dog. Go, go to high school, go to college or whatnot. Just think back. Every oh. mo- majority of the girls that were like the known full blown quote unquote ho, they mm-hmm. were the first to get married. They were the first to get and married. Listen, and I'm going to tell you why. As a matter of fact, in most of the time, in most of the time, look nice. who they married. And most of the time, look who they married. Pastors. Listen. Two dog pastors. They love like, you know, <laughs> playing. I'm gonna tell you, Q, you you're the problem. Stop not, playing. Not but everybody problem, loves man. the hoe. You, you guys are the problem. Holy no, the Q, you the problem because it's status. Because this, this what the good girls do. Instead of taking pointers from the hoes, y'all Come just on. take this as criticism. And now you mad instead of being fucking funny. You so really be watching her game tape. You, you, tape? you guys talk about hoes. You guys talk about sexy red, the Cardi B's, the um. The, the two girls, the two so little dude. artists, um, Diddy's ex-girlfriend. You talk so bad about these girls, and you say women need to stop being like them. Women need to stop looking up to them. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, here uh, y'all go, right. pedophile hoes. Women, y'all no, need to listen, take those we, we hoes. Y'all about need to read the playbook. Make it make sense. No, we talk about the horse behavior. Go ask them for yeah. some personality traits. Yeah, go absolutely. Ask them for they some don't argue. You, you know, they don't argue. They don't argue because they're talking to multiple men at the same time. Wait a minute. No, no, no. What you mean they don't they argue? Think. Half half of these shows are these women. What are you talking Arguing about? Arguing and fighting. That's how that's how half of these shows get these ratings from the arguments with the women. What the are only you talking about? It's arguing. The chick that they body count saying who, it doesn't who are matter. They fighting? Who are they arguing with? More the women. Other, other versions of them. Oh, exactly. When they come to us, we don't get that. We get understanding. We get jokes. Y'all get, get played. Game. Y'all get played. <laughs> Y'all be just like, you just played just like you guys just said that a lot of women are talking to multiple men. Guess what? That's you all it takes is a giggle. Men. All, all they have yeah. to do is make you giggle, and that's it. Y'all and get it's played. just your pain, and you're right. good. But guess it's, what? It's, okay. it's guess like what? You, yeah, yeah. That, that guess what? Guess what? With we show that what I said. Men don't know their roles anymore. That's gross. You don't know your roles anymore. But she sucked Jim's penis and came to kiss you, but you're okay with hoes. And, and you know what? What? She was making me laugh so much, my eyes were closed, so I ain't see some shit. Of it. I ain't see none of it. I was like, this the hoe. <laughs> so the, the girls who really know they're a hoe, they cool with the fact that you're not trying to gout them and stuff like that. So they they fine. Yeah, and they they're cool, okay with messing with married men, but then y'all go ahead. Oh, women shouldn't be messing with married men, but then y'all are okay with them messing with married men. Men. We never said we don't say nothing. Be messing with married yeah. men. That's you women who say that. Y'all, t- y'all ho shamed. Y'all ho shamed. Yeah, I ho shamed. You're right. No, Imagine you if more people ho shamed. Q, Karen, V, uh, Brittany, y'all some motherfucking ho haters because y'all know them hoes out personalized y'all. We, we, they, they, they got y'all on the intangibles. Look yeah, at that. <laughs> that's true. Look at that. They the Draymond Green of, of, of y'all's gender. Look at some face. They do all the small things. Yeah, looking like oh, all the small know. things, and they are the all stars. Like, yeah. for instance, I wonder what kind y'all be worried about what type of pussy she got, what type of personality for these for ghost got. She's 44 years oh, old, oh, and shit. she's dating the, the, the man with the highest contract, the highest salary in he the is- NBA, and he's 25. No, he ain't got, got no, he no stop. that's a lie. He don't got the highest contract in the NBA, he, he for me 300 million. It's three hundred million. He gonna go get the supermax. He gonna get the look, supermax. No, no, no. Jalen Brown has three hundred million. Go look at right. it. Up. Oh, Jalen Brown, her baby daddy. Yeah. No, 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 no. Jalen Brown of, of the Rocket. Boston Celtics is dating. Has been dating for the last two years. Bernice Burgos, who is forty three. Years old. Oh, the little thick little jump that be um oh, hey. yeah. wait. Let's just be honest. Uh Bernice and Andrea, we've seen them on shows, they've been on reality TV, they got no damn personality. Let's just be honest, these men are not oh. with them for their personality. Come yeah. on. You don't you don't know, you don't know what the high okay. highs and the giggles is when it's in front of men. Yeah, that's what right. I'm saying. She's Thank probably you. funny as shit. She she 
She deaf comedy jam in the bedroom. I, I can't believe you a whole hater. I am. That, 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 that don't that, look good on you, Q. Uh -oh. that's my, I don't even care. That's the worst thing you say about Q. I don't care. I'll be a whole hater. You a whole, whole hater. hater. Oh, hold on. So, I'm, oh, I'm a whole oh, lover because I don't even agree don't with calling them hoes. hoes. don't love you. You a uh, whole lover. I don't even call them hoes. I don't think they any more hoes than these men out here. I will always stand by that mm -hmm. because they these men try to discard them and and oh they're lower they're just a hoe and they're doing the same thing if not more than them out here in these streets. I, I will say this: you was on to something. Somebody I can't remember what man was talking about it, but you was on to something when you were like, "Yeah, these girls they they out here they having sex because they they trying to get a relationship and and they and they." Yeah. they they do it in hopes of getting a relationship because most women, even though you might want to label a hoe, they are looking for a relationship. But then some of them just get complacent. They just get like, okay, well, that's never going to happen because it's not happening. So I just, you know, I just take my role. But most women are doing it to eventually get a relationship. And and I'm telling, yeah, I mean, I, I get it. The ones who are really free with their, who do it a lot, they are nicer. They are funnier. They are... And they do sometimes end up in the relationships because of that. They have a better personality or like a funner personality. Or I, I, I can't agree with that. No, but no, no. Let's just, the hoes that are married. Hoes. Trigger, let's just be honest. The hoes that are married. Now you all women. No, no, no. The hoes that are married. I bet you their husbands know you. Yes, that's what I feel like. Trigger, what I bet the you the hoes that are married. Quit pushing that hell. That shit ain't yours. That shit ain't even proven. She started let's moving on me. The hoes that are married now. I bet you if their husbands knew they were sucking 10, 20 dinglings in college, they probably wouldn't be Oh, a married. lot of men know. Most oh, I, men, I, I would say real men don't care. Real okay. men but, don't care about body uh, count. We, we got that. Boy, but, but, yeah. I, 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 but it's, 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 it's the one that they know is at the strip club. Their wife's the stripper. Real men don't care. No, 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 no. I, we, they we, just we, don't we, know. We got, we got that trigger, though. But wait, hey, hey, quick question, though. Side note. But what makes them hoes? Because they superstars and we know the people they think they're... God damn it, girl. Do you got sick or sell? Chill. Look. <laughs> I, look uh, I can't say that no more. I got it. I got in trouble for saying that. <laughs> no, look. But what makes them hoes, though? Because we know of the people. Because they celebrities. We know the people they interact with. I guarantee you. Look. I guarantee you. Your girlfriend... And I'm not talking about nobody. Your girlfriend, your wife, got more bodies than them hoes. And y'all calling them hoes just because y'all know about the bodies they got. That's real. I agree call with you. That's That's real, I don't right. agree with the term. I don't agree with labeling some women hoes just because they choose to have sex as adults just like men do. Why? Why are you can't like call that? women hoes? This is crazy. No, so this is no it, it, I'm not saying that. I'm just. I'm trying to figure out what. What are you? Is there is such a low down hole. What are you? No, I'm, I'm a, trying I'm to figure a, out. I'm the low down. All of the low down. These girls that are having 30 bodies, 40, 50 bodies, they don't care. And they may be having 60, 70, 80 bodies. We're not you to compare that... men with women sexually. We can't do that. There's different. But I, too, I agree with that. I agree with that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, Q, I agree with you. we can't compare it because like y'all y'all never ask niggas they buy jobs and y'all be shocked. Y'all be having two hundred, three hundred, five hundred, but we're not men. It's like I, I ain't gonna lie, I only got six, just like y'all. Men's bodies like, are being six. 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 Teacher, teacher, six. 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 stop moving that uh, stop moving that bank robber wig, man. That shit gonna hurt somebody. <laughs> All right, I'll <laughs> now, <laughs> bank robbery. Got it. Now, let me read the super chats. Yo, hey. Logic said, Logic said, women don't need men no more. Tell that to the 43 women in New York walking around without protection from men getting socked in their ish. Okay. Um, I, I can say my story. I can say my generation was teen moms. My daughter's generation around 21 don't even like dudes. They want to be men so bad because they got the envy. Um, one of five black pregnancies is boarded. A lot of these women like vagina now. Low slim thug is right. These chicks have the same desires as men, as even if she in a dress and heels, still masculine. Um, y'all women are delusional as f. I thought Trigger was Ralph from the Muppets. 
Y'all be paying to roast thank, people? God damn. Thank you, Norrin. Island gal, you know scissors is sex too, right? The majority of dudes from 18 to 24 are not having sex. The stat for dudes over 25 is on par with women. No one actually looked at the stat. They just ran with it. Don't let you slide in on five years of college. <laughs> well, hey, Rashawn, I know a good amount of women who said, a men who said they aren't having sex due to the lack of access on their grind, etc. Agree. Yes. God dang it, logic back in the crib. Um, is it good box? Allegedly, he has two other babies on the way. They all going to deliver around the same time. Thank you. What's good about a, va a vagina that's already pushed out kids? Damn. Whoa. Drea is Whoa. fine as F. Mulatto woman, F the age. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait. At uh, why do we got Pete Diddy and R. Kelly in the chat? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> 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 this chat is wild. <laughs> he, did, he, got out. <laughs> he said trigger was purposely dropped on her head at birth. Her um, birth. You women do listen. I asked you to have Polo J on the show, and right after Resurrection Day, he's here looking like above the rim. Two five. I, try, I I persuaded him to be here tonight, Julius. Thank you. I do listen. Logic ho explaining. Um, Q, you being disingenuous, so so you say we can't compare men and women sexually, but then say men can't have. More than one woman. Stop contradicting. I'm not, mm. It's not contradicting. Having multiple women at the same time is not as their high body counts. I'm not talking about that. Woo! Shout out to y'all in the chat. Make sure you guys hit the like button. It's, it's been it's been a bumpy road, but we're gonna have to take it back to church because oh. Umar Johnson mm. has something to say about the church. The black church caters to the black woman. And the reason the black church caters to the black woman is because the black woman is the provider. She has more income and education than the man. So they look at this financially. They also have a vested interest in her never getting married. The pastor is the metaphorical husband of all the single women in the community. I'm not saying he's sleeping with them. I'm saying he's keeping them so distracted with Jesus that they never find a husband and that's the way he wants it to stay because if she finds a husband she won't have as much time to be donating to the church home wow. so the black church benefits from single motherhood they don't want our sisters married because their pockets would go down <laughs> boy this nigga funny bro <laughs> <laughs> I was with them until he said they're not gonna have time. Like I know a lot of married couples that still go to church. Yeah. So, but I'm glad he said. I love with Doctor Umar. Does anybody agree he, with he that? Of course. I mean, go to big, big black mega churches or whatnot. It's mainly single women in there. Go to any church. Ages of twenty three to to sixty three. You know what I'm saying? It's mainly single women in there. Yeah, but I, I even think, if it's mainly yeah, single are, women, are, are you gonna say that it's because, um? Oh, go ahead, B. Oh, sorry. Now it's gonna say, even if it's single, mainly single women. You are you saying that like it's some sort of uh con church conspiracy to keep them single so they can have more tight hey, money? It, it's a reason I the disagree. church don't pay taxes. They 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 they, they conspire. They they is in a partnership with the government. If you ask me, to keep the woman single. Like you, I disagree. Hey, yeah, man, I'm, I'm telling you, bro. I, I, I hope my thoughts to carry go. I, I'm gonna be a gentleman. No, I just I was gonna say kind of the same thing that V said. Like, even if there's more single women in churches, it's not because the churches made them that way and are keeping them that way. I don't believe that. You don't think so? Do you think what the church is preaching though? Because the, the church sometimes be like women, you know, self love. Think about yourself. That wasn't my experience. I worked as an assistant, mm -hmm. uh, executive assistant to a pastor of a very well-known church in New Jersey. And um, I worked there for probably about five years. How, how much did he offer you? There, huh? How much did he offer you? Shut up. Come anyway. on. What's the number? <laughs> anyway. Um, she signed the NDA. Okay. Very, very, very strong marriage ministry there were tons of couples there a lot of oh, like i didn't see that that wasn't my experience all the churches i've interacted with that was not my my personal experience so i can't agree with that yeah well i think i think my opinion on it is i think umar johnson need to get back into delorean and come back to prison time right now 
because <laughs> half of these hoes is atheists. So these bitches don't know about it. Nigga, hey, he, he talking about the 80s. You know what I'm saying? All these, uh, all they talking points, they want to talk, oh, baby mamas, uh, child support, food stamp. No, no. These the new hoes. They don't believe in God. These hoes, God is only fast. So, Umar, no. <laughs> hey, hey, hold on, hold on. You can say what you want to. I don't think that either. These hoes ain't look. You think these hoes Christians? Why are we? Why are they all? Why are they hoes? Why, okay. say, no, they, oh, they hoes. Now, now, hold on, hey, if the logic ain't saying right one right fucking thing, they some hoes. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, here, here. Name me one Christian that you know besides LeBron James' wife. <laughs> oh, you talking about famous people? But see that anybody. I mean, a lot of my friends are, are Jeff Christians. Jeff Curry and his my wife are Christians. You know what they be doing. Who? Your friend? No. All right, but, 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 but I, I, think, I think that Umar is reaching. We talked about this, I think, last week. I think he's running out of, like... Things to say. Th he, yeah, I think right now he's just... He's trying to to stay relevant. He's trying to stay in front of people. He's trying to have talking point. He wants people to hit back at him because that gives him more view. Like to me, this is no longer a focus on I'm really trying to help my people. This is now a focus on himself. Okay. Well, I, think, I think if Dr. Sure. Umar wanted more, more views, he would have just talked about his school. That would have been instant views. Sure. Sure. You are so right. <laughs> Uh, listen, listen uh, hello, Anton, because you're on you're, you're Dr. Umar. Listen, I get it. I'm, uh, listen, Dr. Umar say some shit that turn me off a lot, but this ain't one of them, bro. No, did it? I, I, I feel like, yeah, no, did it? I feel like uh, Dr. Umar kind of hitting this on the fucking head, bro. Because you got to be honest. In, in my city, I have, done, I have done more for the people than 12 other churches combined. They just there, but every time you go to church, the the, the ministry is uh, uh is tapered to the woman. Or money. You can't put every church in the same boat. I, I'm not, but, I, but, but but we but but what we can do, we can speak on majority, and that's the majority of the church experiences. Mm -hmm. My grandma, God, we're gonna see her man her whole life. She's single as fuck right now. They 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 they, they were preaching that shit at the church. Oh, you just be Every church is not the same. Every can, church ain't the same, but let me we can, know what's going on. Can I ask something? Because someone brought this up to me over the weekend regarding a couple of the churches. Cause they went to a couple of churches and they were like, you know what? I'm so disgusted with churches nowadays because all they're doing is asking for money. That's it. Asking for money. So I have a question. Do you think it kind of caters to women? Because you know, women, we tend to spend more money regarding frivolous stuff, let's say the beauty industry. Do you think that it kind of caters to women more because they know we kind of drop more money when it comes to church or- Every church that I was a part of, the pastor had a job. Yeah, church I That's what I'm saying. You can't, you can't say, as a matter of fact, uh, the church that I grew up in, my pastor was an executive, an automotive executive, and he had a bag, so he didn't need none of that. So I think that the thing is, is it's similar to when we talk about the black community or, or people that, you know, have the biggest voices on social media. It's the ones that yell the loudest. They get the majority of the vision, you know, the visibility. And so a lot of times it gives the church a bad name, but that's not a representation of a lot of the different things that people are doing across the board. It's a lot of good places. It's a lot of dope places. Um, they not all just the church. And so I think that, you know, it's easy for him to lump that in there, um, especially for a guy that, you know, doesn't exhibit anything that the church preaches. So, you know, he can rail against it if he want to. But the reality is that all of the women that I know that went to church is married. If we, if we listen, I would rather him say colleges are keeping women single than the church, than the church. Same thing. I understand, I understand. No, it's not the same thing. I, I understand. Uh, I understand that there's a perception, and I also agree with the idea that there are some things that are wrong with some of the largest churches that do pander to women. That is something that we can also acknowledge, and there are some things that I believe that need to be fixed. However, 
However, I do not believe that that is a church only issue. I think that it's more or less a cultural issue. Listen, how can Dr. Umar be the one that's at the forefront of having that conversation when he a two time baby daddy? Thanks. I didn't even know that. Fuck, he not even um, married. Listen, I he's not it, even I married. The half the time that this nigga get on the live, he talking about King Kong consciousness, baby, come get some. The fuck are you talking about? Uh, Mr. Listen, uh, no, 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 no. I want listen. The church say you will know them by their fruits. You will know them by their fruits. Who is this nigga to speak on it on, on righteousness? Now, if you want to talk about clinical psychology, cool. I actually agree with him on some of the things that he talked about with regard to that, especially like when he's talking about homosexuality and he'll use like Dwayne Wade's son or something as an example or whatever. I agree with some of his points on that. But come on, man. Let, let's be for real. The, the whole church is get money scheme. Hey, can you pull that uh, the screen share up? T it really isn't. Okay, this right here is when T.D. Jakes promised that it was going to be my year. Okay? So I right. went after it won my year. I went on Twitter and asked them for my money back. You see, he blocked me. <laughs> he blocked me. This 2018 now. I don't know what you're talking so, so, so tell me it's not about the money. I think a lot of church, even Anton, you've done stuff in your Million and Morning show showing these pastors, you know, got in these big chains. What's that? That pastor got robbed. Like a lot of these pastors, and let's just be honest, on, a lot of these pastors. That wasn't a church. That wasn't a church. That was. A fucking Brooklyn Harlem hustler True. that recently got convicted of fraud. Okay. Uh, the dude's name was Lamore Bishop. Mm -hmm. And that's that that's not a representation of the real church. Okay, but some and of these pastors church, are, are cheating on and their wives. That was a church. Stuff. Like, so it's like uh, John, John some of them. Well, but but Again, I think I, like I said, I think that the church has its own issues, but I think right. to heart that on the church is disingenuous. I don't I don't believe that that, that you can do that. Just like as a blanket statement, if we start wanting to go into context and say, well, some of the big churches got gay choir members and stuff like that, you can start to dig in and start yeah. to talk about some of the individual things. But that's like saying all cops is bad. All cops are not bad. Yeah. Like you can't just throw a blanket statement on that shit and say it. That's not true. I don't I don't agree with that. Because I know that the church that we was in, when I was coming up, the idea was, listen. If you want to be rebellious and you and it was this is what the message was to the women. If you grow up and you decide that you want to be rebellious, the minute that you decide that you want to get a boyfriend, you marry him. And as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I just linked up with my cousin yesterday. We the same age. Uh, her mother and my mother are sisters. We grew up in the same uh, same church. She decided that she wanted to have a boyfriend and she got married at 18 years old. You was not having sex out of wedlock. You were not going to be out here doing what you wanted to do. You wasn't going to be slutting it out on campus. She got married at 18. We literally are the same age, born two weeks apart, and she'd been married for four years longer than me. She got married at 18. I got married at 22. You were not about to be out here doing no fuck shit. So when we talking about being single, I think that we talking about being single as the world pertains to what single is. Y'all think that being in, a, being, in a, being in a relationship mean that you're not single. We was raised differently. We was raised to believe either you marry or you single. Ain't no playing house. Ain't no none of that shit. And if the women decided that they wanted to wanted to start getting a little boyfriend, then you getting married. And as she got married, she got married. She's still married to today. And she's been married for almost 24 fucking years. And she's 41, just like me. So I don't know. I don't think that that's all. I think that the church in a lot of ways and, and a lot of churches, they do have standards. And so a lot of the churches that I went to and visited and, and they all had a similar mindset. That's just the facts. And we did not, we didn't, we didn't allow for that shit. That didn't fly in our place. Hmm. So, you know, I, uh, and, and, and those are not the ones that's put on the pedestal. Those are not the churches that's put at the forefront and celebrated. It's just like hmm. the trauma and shit that's happening here. The shit that get the most views is when a motherfucker is out there cheating on his wife. Yeah. But you don't I hear the good thing. I still think he capping. I think he's trying to get views. He got these old baby mama talking points. Like I said, he 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 gonna he gonna do it because ain't nobody going to church. Yesterday was Easter. 
I follow all you niggas on Instagram. I ain't seen <laughs> damn one of you niggas in the church. I absolutely, you don't know, follow me. Well, I, 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 what, I ain't see, what what post that I can I can search right now. I don't post. As a matter of fact, one of the things that I post on my social media, I'm his own church. Go to my Twitter right now. Literally, what I said was, and I will read it again. <laughs> Most of these women, oh, no, 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 I'm gonna pull it up. Most of these women uh, didn't go to church yesterday because they was being Easter eggs. Nah, we, we went to church and then we went to dinner afterwards. <laughs> and really I will mean? literally read what I wrote on Twitter. I said, I love my life and how things turned out, but I but seeing my extended family today, literally, my extended family today talking about God and then laughing at the dinner table. Helps me to remember how awesome and simple mm -hmm. things are. Sometimes I miss simple. Absolutely, I did, and I posted it on my story on Instagram. Listen, but I'll, I'll, I'll see it on Instagram. Hey, look, I posted man, it on my story, on my story oh. on Instagram. All right, let me see, let me see your story. No, no, no. I see, I seen your post. It went on uh, Twitter. It was right. on an Instagram yeah. version of Twitter. I forgot the name of it. Right. So besides, yeah. hey, yeah. besides, no, no, no. Acknowledge my shit. No, I mean I don't see it. Cause on your story, like you in the airplane or some shit. Oh my eyes! Look, this what I see. Expired. Yeah, it's all good. It's, it's on my Twitter. It's on Threads I, and it's on Twitter. I, we good. I'm coming Listen, in. speaking of East, the rest, hey, no, no. Two K. Did you go to church yesterday? He don't believe in God. Right, hey V, did you go to church yesterday? Be honest. I uh well trigger we know you ain't go we, you had a hell yes I was, right. I, I, I was at a play I was no, you had a hell point there I hey my man did you go to church yesterday man Keep it man I, I was you know uh you know how it be sometimes yeah, bro he had to work oh, I got you I got you I got you yeah I had to work that's me I went I to you. church and then you Q. called around eleven o'clock and I said I'm gonna go to my parents' house and help them cook. Q, you did not go to church, nigga. Yes, I did. I went at the 8 a.m. 8 a.m. service, and then you oh, called God, me at my time. I'll show you the call. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. She did go because I saw her at brunch right after. It, so <laughs> you didn't see me no day from brunch. <laughs> so we, we, we got, got Sunday got Monday two. like a bitch, bro. <laughs> so we got two out of how many people we got in this panel? Nine. That's two out of nine people good. went to church. That's probably the percentage of Americans went to church yesterday. <laughs> that wasn't the question. That wasn't the question. Can can we talk about but the but I put on my pastel and post it in the living room though? I took the picture. <laughs> right, but, yeah, can, listen, can we talk about the trauma that come along with the Easter Day program? And how no, traumatized man, they were. No, we're not talking about, about church. That, no, I'm, talking I'm, about, I'm talking, talking about, about church program. enough tonight. That, that, that shit was traumatized. Okay, we ain't ready it for that. Ain't easy no more. It's Resurrection Sunday. No, it no, ain't. It's, 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 it's trans trans visibility. <laughs> trans I just feel like I just feel like with Omar back to the topic with Omar. I just feel like oh, oh, before you said that, no, before you said that, before you said that, because she I think you dumped that Easter egg juice on your head. So we know you. <laughs> she used all the dye on her shit. Look at her. So you don't take it. Fire back at him. The kids could have no goddamn dyed Easter egg because you put all that shit in your hell. Yeah, <laughs> y'all be roasted, it. roasted on here all day. But look, I'm saying Omar ain't have no stat to back up when he said that as soon as they get married, they they uh they no longer uh, uh give to the church. There's no stat to support that, right? Well, Hello, from personal, I, know. I seem like, like as a man, like seriously, when my wife go to church, I have to watch her with the money because she be trying mm. to tie too much. I and told I, you, I ain't with it. She over. I, I will, I will say, uh, I will say, when it comes to in the field I'm in or whatnot, like you know, some tickets to that blah blah, whatever the case is, women do support quicker, faster, and they're more loyal, right? When mm -hmm. it comes to uh, fans and or whatever cool but i wanted to know some because y'all was also talking about money how do we make the church feel like church and still be because it's a business it's still a business it's how are we business. able to have it's not a business it's, it's, pay taxes. okay but it's isn't it's it a but, but here, 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 goes the thing. here goes the thing that's what it feels like though they want money that's what it feels like how do we how like. is it okay business. okay well how are we how can we allow i'm sorry how can we find a way to make us still be able to give to the church to support the church monetarily without making it feel forced and tacky? 
Uh, the last time I went to church was uh two weeks ago. Two weeks so, ago. So you yeah, I watched it on a church. I did. You didn't go, you watched it church. online. That's neither here nor there. But I went. I was there. Come on now. Y'all playing Let's games, go. man. Listen. listen I know listen. I'm serious though. How how can no we no 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 y'all playing games? Y'all not serious, and so I'm not even gonna entertain an unserious conversation. Now when it comes now when it comes to the church, I just I'm I'm just serious about that. You, I think that people play too much with God's name. And um you acting like yeah. being Shapiro now, bro. No, I'm busy, I'm okay. being for real because <laughs> you, you it, it's just, like it's just certain mean. things. Listen, I think that the church got its problems too, but I think that when people play, when people playing, you know, with, with the church. You know, you know why I, people playing with the church? Because I just, I just church, don't entertain it. I don't entertain. The church it. have played with people over and over and over and over Stop and over. Stop saying and over. the church. It's the a church. church. Is. There the are certain age. people. There are certain people that are taking advantage of the people in the name of God, okay. and that's not that's not a reflection of the church. That's a reflection Absolutely. of people that are false prophets. That's not the same as the church. Okay, okay. some churches. Okay. So the majority. People. Call it what it is. Okay, it is the majority. But let's talk about it. And for real though, I, the I'm last not talking one about it because I'm not. I don't. I don't play games when what, it comes to what do the time. Okay. I'm, hey, I'm not. I'll this is not a game. Side. I'm asking a real question. I'm asking a real question because I grew up in. I came up in a Catholic church, so and that's where I still go to now. And I just vividly remember there being one offering, and now there was like at the last one I was at. I was oh, why don't you go and ask see. that? Ask that church. I do. <laughs> um, <laughs> I do St. Albert's Church right here on the southwest side of Houston, Texas. I've okay, asked. Well, I was yeah, like, so can, what's it for? That's, what that's was that. the question? Yeah, it really is church to church. I know some churches that don't, don't even. Oh, let's do. That's what I'm saying. That's the majority so, now. You, you think they're asking too much to just find another church, but it just depends. Yes. Maybe they got oh. a special offering for a special occasion. And you weren't listening. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. That's I, the majority. I've gone to. I've gone to multiple churches. I've lived in different states, things like that. I've, and I've sat and I became a member at a couple, right? And what I'm trying to say is though, is that like, how do we make it feel like, uh, uh, how do we make it feel like when I went to a Baptist church or whatnot, uh, my first time going to a Baptist church when I was in college or whatever, I feel like, okay, this is home. This don't feel like a visit. This feels like, this feels right. You get what I'm saying? And so when you come to your home church and it was like money, 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 this and that, and you're looking at so many fees and what they got there, going on. Hmm? Why you ain't just saying there? I do. I go uh, to my answer. Okay. If it feels like home, then that means he gave you a pastor after his own heart. I, 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 I'm trying to, I don't think you, I'm trying to say, how do we turn church? I don't want to have this conversation pastor. because you, you on here with a bunch of people who are, who don't believe anyway. So listen, I'm, I'm, I'm not going. I'm not going to go back and forth. I, I, listen, with, I don't have to believe, don't believe in God to understand what the church is. Yeah. Can okay? you complete your question, though, Kanis? Could could you finish your question? No, nah, you don't want to. We'll talk about it. Uh, uh, no, no, this, this Anton. Oh, why, we can't hear your whole question. No, nah, Anton, step up to the mic. <laughs> this your man is popping out. God, God is, listen, let me tell you something that I know about God, is that God is not something that I have to convince people to believe in. We talk about God, the God, we is, God about is something, God. God is something, and church is something that reveals itself to people when they're ready. So I don't have to, I don't have to ever push people to get into it. And I'm not trying to convince people to join a church. My life is a reflection of it. And so all I have to do is continue to be a reflection of what it is that I believe in. And God will reveal himself to those those that he's looking to attract and what it is that he's trying to do. I don't have to sell people on it. I don't have to defend it. The word is the word. The word defends itself. And so anybody that understands it, anybody that's ever really read it and, and, and look to understand it, then they'll understand exactly what it really represents. I don't have to hear, be here trying to sell you on it. It's not nothing to sell. I'm not going to ever try to convince you. How do I get church to, to feel more? That's not for me. That's not Boom. for me. That, 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 that argument. The, the, Can the, I just the, say one thing? Hold on. The church is, is, is just like this, okay? It went from the cornerstone of the community to the cornerstone. All you do is give, 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 give to the church. That's the not church, true. That's the, 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 I'm, I'm not talking, not talking to you. I'm not talking but to you. But I will say this. No, when I'm talking. Transparent, what? I'm talking. When but don't I ever cut you off. 
I the church, sorry, everybody right. just gives, gives, gives to the I'm church, not, and not. then the church do not give back. If so, how many black churches do we know in the black communities with all the people doing bad? The church don't do nothing for the people. I'm not saying God don't, but the church definitely don't. The church definitely don't. Anytime your grandma in the hospital, the pastor come pray, that's it. He out of there. That, okay. Well, we know that's, that, that that's, church, that's, that's false. You can't that, that's, put that's, that on every church. That's not no. all church. That, I don't think he's in all churches, though. I think he. Uh, we got to separate God from the churches. I'm not talking about God. I'm talking about yeah, the church. Well, well, we church. Have, you, you have to also separate one church from another church. Like, I always hey, got the same experiences. Like the same. He's just talking about the, in, just talking about the institution in general. Like oh, I, I, the church that I went to, there was no collection plates. No collection plates was passed. You just did your tithe the, uh, uh, every time you had your check. You did your check. You gave your tithe. There was no plates coming along. You just put in an envelope. Like nobody knew when your payment was coming out, but you had your envelope. You Go and you put it in like whatever little box that was there. That's it. That's all. At the end of the year, when the, you talk with the pa the the um, the pastor, and the pastor's like, "Hey, have you been paying your tithes?" Yes. No. He's not gonna check it. But but why y'all like, acting like what y'all why y'all acting like two K retarded? Y'all know damn well what he's saying is true. Yeah, even though it might not be, even though it not might not be your church, we know in the black community. The churches, and then I'm not speaking on Anton Church because I don't know Anton Church or Carey Church, but we know being in a black community, the church is the biggest scam known to fucking man. They Next work for the government. But is it is it only the black community though? Because I've been to Lakewood a couple times and they pass around four or five times a tithe. Well, I so, can't speak on the thing about it. The thing about it is that it's interesting because. I've been to a lot of places and I visited a lot of churches and I see, you know, they're the only thing that's the pillar that's holding people together. That's helping them to get back, get back from drug addiction and they keep their, and, and they keep their doors open and they be there at midnight. And I've seen pastors get up out of their sleep. And these are guys that don't even pass around a collection plate and everything that's given over into the church is going into the community because these guys actually got real jobs. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I can't sit here and go back and forth for people. See, the thing that I believe in is being objective. And, and when you objective, you acknowledge the good and the bad. And for people that haven't really participated in it and don't really know what the lifestyle is from it. See, all of us know what a relationship is like because all of us has been in a relationship. So it makes it a valid argument. Very few people actually understand the church because very few people actually knows they have never read the Bible from back to forth, you know, from front to back. They've never actually experienced more than one place and seen the good as, as well as some of the bad. And so the only thing that people tend to do is they only speak on the bad because that's all that they know. And then half of the stuff that they know is based off of something that somebody told them or what they've seen online. They have never really experienced it for themselves. And so there's a lot of people that talk about it. But then a lot of people that say that they atheists ain't never been, ain't never experienced it. And so if you never experienced it, it's very difficult for me to take you serious as to you really having a serious conversation. I grew up a Christian. I was in the church my I'm whole talking, life. I'm not that's talking how, about that's how I'm that's how I know how my experience. I'm not talking about you specifically. I'm talking about people. Is a lot of people that have a lot of cr criticisms of the church. And they don't know what it really represents because they have never really experienced it the way that they were supposed to. And so, I, like I said, I believe that that God reveals himself to whatever it is that he's trying to that he needs to reveal himself to when a person is ready. And all I got to do is continue to live in and be a reflection of it. That's what so that's I what a, I believe. I got a question, Anton, because I think we're talking about two different things, because let me just ask you this. Have you encountered or done shows regarding churches that are just trying to get money from the people and not really getting back, giving back to the community. No, I've done shows about specific pastors of certain churches and criticize that particular church in, in general. But you're not saying a specific church. Y'all saying the church. Well, well, you we, can't, we can't put it all in the same bucket. That's like saying all cops. All well, cops are not the same. Some are well, good, some are bad. But so Anton, well, we're no, we're on a platform. Of course, we're not saying all churches, just like we don't say. And all I'm members. saying the majority of them have they have good, and the majority of them are doing good. But what the ones that get the most visibility are the biggest and the wildest. Okay, but that's a, that's that's with all topics. 
when we talk about all topics, we're talking Definitely. about the majority. We, okay. All women all are right. this. So let, all right, so let's do this. Y'all want to talk about Baptist, Pentecostal, Catholic? Which ones? No, Neither. I don't want to talk about nothing. Is it the black church or is the church in general? No, we can't just we can't just make it seem like that. But when people are talking negatively, they're yeah. usually just say the church and and no, oh, okay, so we, we churches. We never said all. Y'all said I the think church. we just the I church. think we just talking about hold on. I think we just talking church. about all the bad ones. That's all. Yeah, I I, we, we weren't mean. saying all, all churches bad are bad ones. because clearly I go to a good church, but have I been to bad ones? Yes, but we're not talking about oh all churches. We're, we never talk in soliloquy. like We never talk in those type of terms on these panels. Yeah, we're talking we about our bad uh, experiences. When have y'all ever talked about y'all good experiences? We had. I go to a good church every, no, every no, Sunday. No, 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 no. Before today, when have y'all ever talked about y'all good experiences? Because again, I believe in being equal across the board. And just as much as you acknowledge the good as you acknowledge the bad. When have y'all ever talked about y'all good experiences in church? We we have, depending on the topic. You never That's have. Y'all yes. never have. Y'all have never talked about how y'all how y'all had a good experience in church. Never. I got away, no. I got away well, from well, the past. Well, we we I got tweets. I've been the on the program. internet for a decade. Y'all have never did that. Every, well, time and, that the, every time that the church come up, it's always what it is that y'all don't like. Well, we've not never equal. really it's had a church topic, Anton. It's not we've even never really did board. just say she went to a good Easter service. That's she today. Did. I said yeah, before but Anton, today. We, we've never had a church topic. I kind of stay away from church topics because I know that people beliefs and stuff, but we've never we had. We had 2K up on this panel talking about church in a negative way. Multiple different. Multiple yeah, different but he don't, that's one time, but we've never had a church topic. This has we've had topics where derailed and going to church. Y'all bring up God. This ain't even a church up. topic. This is this talking is about church women. Specifically. Omar said church is uh, making women bad or keeping women fuck single. Omar. Well, nobody give a fuck about but that. Yeah, this is ass. a church topic. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. Hey, yo, motherfucker that don't even believe in right. church himself. <laughs> fuck Omar. Right. I got to the super hey, chat. Hey, but wait, 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 wait. Hold up. But at time, I at time, I got I got to be look. So that be every time we talk about these hoes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come up with you. I'm gonna come to you, and I'm gonna say, "What? Oh, wait, wait." I'm gonna say, "Why you never say that about the good shit the hoes do?" Yeah, I, do. I, do. I, do. I literally do. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, the very last video that I posted on this channel, I literally show Rita cooking in the kitchen. No, I we highlight. have to call Rita. Um, no, 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 no. As a matter of fact. Pick up black women out here outside of your wife. Man, let me you. finish my motherfucking story. Like, what? As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, one of the things that one of the things that y'all hate, and one of the things that I've gotten so much criticism from, from in the past is y'all sitting here talking shit. Saying how Anton think he can change these hoes. Mm. Anton saying that all the women is super dope. Y'all the one that talk the most shit about the fact that I be saying the shit that I be saying about hoes. Anton, right. have you ever said anything positive? Wait, 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 Q, you. don't let him off. Look, Anton, every Anton show. Superior. Wait, wait, wait. Every show, I'm gonna say, hey, Anton, what's your good new whole story? No, <laughs> I want a good new whole story every show. No, I want to know every no, no, and, every and, show. And also, you should be also, able to. And also, <laughs> also, <laughs> also, Talk what I also say, and tell me I don't say this. I'm sorry. Give me a second, redhead. <laughs> <laughs> what, I, what I also say is, I say it's a difference between hoes, wives, good girls that's single, and chicks that's for the streets. I say that. Say I don't say that. Anton, you said that. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, you said that, Anton, but then you've also said, if you're not a virgin, you're a hoe. You said that too. No, so that's, not that's not what I said. That's not what I said. That's not what I said. You, you know what's so bad about you? Q? Q will just <laughs> here. You will just throw three shows into one statement. That's literally <laughs> not what I said. Hey, Q gonna yes, remember some shit that you won't What I to. said was, what I asked is, I said, how many of y'all are virgins? And I said, based off of what the requirement is for marriage, a lot of y'all are not worthy of marriage. That's what I said. It's, it's, I ain't say it's, nothing about all the chicks as, as hoes as not a virgin. Carrie, was you on panel when he that said is, that? He you, said, if you're not a virgin, you're not redhead. She not, oh, she not asking you. 
I think you said that trigger. It's <laughs> <laughs> inferring. Ask Carrie. I think Carrie is objective enough to answer the question. Do you recall I, anybody in the chat recall him saying that if you're not a virgin, you're a hoe. No, don't switch it. Come ask on, Carrie. What's up, Carrie? Someone was like, Well, is Q a hoe? Ask and Carrie. Like, don't bring Q into this. Come on, Carrie. I, I, ask I, Carrie. I, 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 I vaguely remember the show where we were, where we were talking about like, that. But Come on, like, Carrie. Why do y'all like, keep <laughs> interrupting her? Why do y'all keep interrupting her? Let her finish. Um, I I don't I don't remember verbatim what you said, Anton. But I do remember that it was implied that since all of us were not virgins, that we were not. So I don't know if you called us if it was hoes or if it was like we were. <laughs> Welcome to the dark side, Carrie. You fucked up. You fucked up, Carrie. I ain't never called Carrie all in my life. No, you didn't. This is our last show, Carrie. I ain't never called Q all in my life. No, you were saying that people on the panel. You were just talking like in general, like in general. But I think I think it was the same show where Trigger went and said that she was a virgin, and Anton asked like ten times, "Are you sure?" And then he said he was going to pray for her, and then reneged on the prayer later on. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, but then you also said my statement. No. I said, oh, yeah. no, no, no. See, finally, we got somebody to tell the truth. I was like, I'm going to pray for you. And I, and I, nope, nope. And I had, so I had grace and I actually wanted the best for her. And yes. she came back and she spit in my face by lying to me. You're right. But that's a whole different topic. You did say that. But why y'all keep moving the goalposts? No, no, you no. say I don't you ever say nothing good about women. You definitely said that. You definitely said that about Trigger. But you've also said on a panel, if you're not a virgin, you're a hoe. Like it, you mm. brought it up into a whole conversation. You did. <sighs> But but See, can we do this? Can, can, can we can we do one thing though? Can we do one thing? Care, I need you and and High V to do me a favor. Every Monday, make sure Anton have his good news whole story because he said yo never talk about the goddamn good with the church. But get you right. Get well, the you word of the whole. But I want to know word. about the whole story. I want to know. Sexy Red found the babysitter. I want to know. I want to know. Drea. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. He, he, he does. Okay, logic. He no, does compliment. He, he does compliment no, he the whole. He'll, he'll say Brittany the whole. Runner, Brittany Runner. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely says the holes look good. So but that's a good hole for No, holes look good. <laughs> Listen, that's a compliment like me saying I got away from the pastor when he tried to touch on my ass. <laughs> oh my that's, my, that's my good church story. I got away. <laughs> but, but I will say, I will say that you guys have come at me uh, plenty. I will say that y'all have come at me plenty of times when I say I think we do generalize, and y'all be like, we're not talking about. You specifically, we're talking nope. in general, and I'm like, but how are we gonna say all this, all that? Thank you, Carrie. Well, right, well, wait, 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 mm -hmm. Anton. You know you set your, you set yourself up for that. One. I had to take that. I had to take but that. No, no. When I when I speak on it, even even when when I address Carrie, a lot of times I'll say, and I'm not talking about all, but I'm speaking about the majority. You do say that. I give you that. Yep. He say that. Say that. And he I say preface that. my statement by saying that. And I also acknowledge people, even when people do something great, I'll stop the whole fucking show and be like, hold on, we're not going to skip over that because we're going to celebrate that shit. I do that shit all day long. So y'all can't sit here and cap. You going to do that one like time my no, 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 listen. <laughs> you, well, I'm not going to talk to you right now. <laughs> Hey, See, ever since ever since that one that one, that one, that one comment, comment ever since that one comment about like your virgin or whatever, are, ever since he's out for her. Y'all are some god haters. N yes, niggas hate a fake virgin. I'm a whoa, god hater. Whoa, whoa, god hater. Right. Oh, Anton, can you Anton, can you say one good thing about trigger? Yes, tell us one good party. No, 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 I'm not doing it. <laughs> We're not doing it. What the? He's been burned. He, he's been burned ever since the ever since the 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 yeah, the, that the, prayer, uh, that the creative the creative he definition like, of a virgin like ever since that. And I pray for you. Yeah, <laughs> he was burned. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Not, 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 
Because I'm not going to give credit where credit ain't due. She's going to have to do, she got to do something good and then I'll credit her. She's so I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm not just going to be, I'm not just going to gaslight. If you do something good, I'll acknowledge it. But right now she's been talking bullshit. Okay. I haven't I mean, done, I haven't given any, you know. You got that fucking wig on. What's wrong with you? <laughs> and we you don't need to know the bedroom history. Why do we need to know everybody's bedroom history? I'm, I'm going to give you props when you move out to mom and dad house. I did. Hey, it's hold my on, apartment. Hold. Look, it's an apartment downtown. I moved I down. love that for you, Trisha. I got, love that for you. Your house. Then, but hey, at least at least Trigger shows up on the panel. She's never late. She never backs out last minute. So I'll give her that. Very cute. And, and you know, what else she got to do? And, and she you, can you, take you, y'all's you, guilt. You, listen, listen. It. Wait, wait, I'll hold on. Never, is the biggest gaslighter. No, 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 no. I'm being serious. We'll talk she you out the, uh, the other week. Q have nothing. Q defends women on this panel. No, no the hell I don't. Yes, yes, now. She do. yes, she does. Yes, do. yes, she does. Do you I? Know, let it, let yeah, it, let yeah, it yeah, be yeah. 2K or Quentin. You on oh, I? You remember everything. Can I go back to giving props to Trigger? One, let's give her props because once y'all had attacked her with jokes and she ain't call y'all out y'all's name. She ain't came at y'all hard. Yeah. And we've done other yeah. shitty panels where we dealt with hyenas that couldn't take a <laughs> joke. So I'll give Trigger that, that she can take a joke and come Because I would have been crying by now. And she reaches out to me sometimes mm -hmm. like, hey, is the panel available? So I'll give her that. Sometimes, Most of the times I don't agree with the what the hell she be saying, but I'll give her props for showing up. She ain't Shout got nothing to do. She ain't got nowhere to be. No, I, I like I like trigger. I like trigger. I, 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 got... I fuck with trigger though until she keeps trigger. Talking. Hey, hey, trigger. Do you got a passport? I'm a, I want to fly you out to Germany. No, the fuck you don't. <laughs> 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 you, you fly? My birthday two years ago, so I got a passport. Hey, let's go. Trigger, let's go to Germany. <laughs> Yo, oh, Trigger and I are going to Germany and we taking the live on the road. I ain't going to Germany. <laughs> Lisa, you know what that flight entail now, Trigger? You're going to have to buzz it down now. Because I'm not having the sex until I get married. So unless you... you right. That's know. amazing. You know, you're good because you know, you you know, you you know, uh, on United, on United <laughs> Allies, on United Allies, they'll give you the second seat for free. So like, United. Uh, <laughs> boy, the best we can do for her is first class speed. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if I come out there, all we're gonna do, Mister, is read some scripture and pray no, together. I'm trying to have sex. Trigger, have you know, not find you out to have sex. He's not that type. Man, you better yeah. buzz it down. Yeah. I might massage your feet. You feel me? Okay, no, I'm I'm okay. I'm I'm good good on get your feet massaged. In. I'm, good, I'm good on that. <laughs> have you, I, wait, have I, you I seen his wanna... feet though? Have you seen yeah, his feet? I, I want. I want to take That's you to. Right. You know what I'm, I'm saying because I'm, I'm, I'm a, a born again Christian. I want to take you to like. Uh, I, I, the, I want you to home with my toe in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Let me read these super chats. Y'all ignorant tonight. Okay, we live in such a backward society. Yes. Uh, look out for my apology tour. Okay, P Diddy. <laughs> Jermaine Shoemaker is Dr. Umar's real name. That's really his name. His real name. Yeah, Shoemaker. Oh, ADQ, I'm with y'all till the wheels fall off and sparking on the rotors. Thank you. 2K needs to be a regular. Mr. Logic, good to see you on the panel. The church is in my DNA, literally going back to the 1700s. We can't minimize how the church has been beneficial to black people coming out of slavery. Yes. A good percentage of black preachers seem to entertain their con congregates instead of teaching the full word. Black people are in dire need of the full teaching of the word, and Gino is one of the few people, the few to provide that teaching. Women are sheep in church environment. Church is a recycled business where people save money, play inside the emotions and soul of people, 40% helping people. Where y'all getting these numbers from? <coughs> the Where y'all get y'all numbers from, too? Excellent content on Roger Umar. Read, church humans entitled to believe in religion or sciences, but what if it is Simply a construct of her control. I mean, that's that's a good point. Here. Churches do the work that people think they do. They too good to do keeps people busy with good intentions. Intentions. While this was the intention. Money. Yeah. I guess intentions while saving money. Get an egg box. Um, in. women are. Oh, are that? Um, damn. Where are going nowhere. Did they? Did they yeah, you read that. One? 
My bad. Uh, I think you all on this panel need to give it to God and watch him work y'all's miracles. Live and love God. Look at him looking like a Detroit pimp. Put that picture back. <laughs> I just, I just, I just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, Put your t-shirt at, big dog. <laughs> what, what he got on the bus? What they call it? Detroit, the bus? <laughs> <laughs> what he got on the U-Spot shirt? Talk about giving to God. What, please? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Shout out to Christo sending that super chat. Church gives people vulnerable energy for free. Um, Jamaicans were a part of the Church of England. Some of my white slave owning ancestors were devout uh, Christians, so it's a shady history. The church and blacks. Woo! Shout out so to cool. y'all that said the super y'all, chat. Y'all done stirred up the church conversation in the comments. Yeah. And I, this I, I, is I, the first time I've made a church topic a main yeah. topic. Hey. Seriously, seriously, I know what the church do for a lot of y'all life. So if I offended any of y'all, I apologize. If I offended any of y'all, you offended you. Why are you apologizing? I, you say you already say you don't believe you in God. You offended you. You ain't offended us. Hold on, no, no, no. I, I am an atheist, but if I, I understand what hopes bring, well, what church bring to y'all, and it's hope, and I don't want to offend y'all. Because of my beliefs, so just say it. I'm sorry if I offended you. You can't offend us because last he week not serious. Serious. He not no, I'm, I'm, I, I promise I'm serious. No, he ain't. Listen, because he, he prefaced it by saying he knows it brings hope. It do. My wife, that. listen, my wife is Christian. My grandma and my mom, all of them are Christians. I'm super serious. I'm sincere right now. They gonna get you, two K. They, they gonna can't get me. Okay. That's to show you prayer don't work. They've been praying for me for a while. All right. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> that's to show you right there. Okay. Okay. And then it is painting. I think, you know, you, you I think can't, that it's, I think that it's just thing. important to be objective. And I think that it's important to be careful of just throwing out statements without having data Terry, to back it up. Talk some sense into a terrorist down there. I'm what? not a terrorist, goddammit! Because the implication, the implication. You, you ever tried to negotiate with a terrorist? <laughs> I just said the homeless last week. God damn. Like what? <laughs> it's a terrorist. No, I'm Come just on. saying, I think I think it's important to 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 isolate the issues that people might have with certain things. So, like, you guys might think that I attend church because of the position that I have. I don't attend church. Hey, right pull, pull my wife but, right there. Uh, no, I, 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 I your wife. I, Sarah B. I, it's like he's definitely a terrorist. I want y'all to see how gorgeous she is. That's okay, Sarah, what you doing with 2K? Yeah. Is the question. Oh, shit. Hey, now. What are you doing? Listen, That's hey, true story. Okay? Yeah, true story. Sarah B. I, she she needs to be praying hard, harder, sis. Now listen, I don't, I don't let her pray no more because she be praying for the strength to leave me. Uh, uh, hey, and then, two, then, this, hey, 2K, this how your wife looking at that picture. <laughs> <laughs> you threw a wife joke? <laughs> hey, yo, logic, hold on, bro. No, nah, I'm just playing, man. <laughs> I know I'm just moving. We good, bro. Hey, I'm sorry, Sam. <laughs> no, no, I gotta hear this shit. Here we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> She cute though. I don't know. Yeah, she's pretty. Really. She's she really pretty. pretty. What you doing? Hey, hey Q, game? we heard you the first three times you said it. Goddamn. I, thought, I we, gotta get see, it y'all. Be. We we trying to get good positive uh compliments here since y'all say we, and y'all said we don't get good compliments. I'm giving good compliments. <laughs> Shout out to two K. Insult to you, two K. Hey, two K. I mean, uh, Sarah. You whenever you want to be on panel, hit me up on IG. Al- I would love I, to I hear. Would not let her no, hell no. I, um, excuse me. Anyway, no. we'll, we'll see a whole other right? side of two K. Yeah. Yeah. One mic, one mic. One at a time, y'all. Let me finish. Um, wife read read that super chat real quick. This one, Anton Daniels always speaks about never letting himself get censored, but categorize the church topic as off limit because the panel is somehow supposed to be extensively knowledgeable about how the church works to speak on it. Okay, so as usual, people take words and, and make them what they want to be. I never said anything about letting myself get censored. I said, I don't censor other people. All right, that's number one. And number two, again, I could say and preface and say that I don't want to talk about something based off of the fact that other people ain't serious about it. It's certain things. Listen, if you decide that you wanted to talk about my daughter, I could say, fuck you. Because I don't have to. Cause it's something that's meaningful to me and it's something that I take serious. I don't, I don't joke about God. 
Like, I mean, you know, I understand the jokes, but but when it gets to a certain point, I don't know. That's just something that's meaningful to me. So I choose I choose when and when not to engage based off of what it is that I'm talking about. So 2K, that's why I'm you not gonna, I, I didn't tell nobody else that they can't talk about it. You can talk about Wait, what they want to. I don't understand why 2K, 2K called Anton B. Shapiro. Yeah, yeah. I'm kidding. Yeah, but Kenny's never asked Anton, Anton, Anton tried to get a kid in the Oh, yeah. Uh, nigga, hey, we we get Kenny on the phone. Hey, Kenny, 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 <laughs> what about free speech at nigga? <laughs> Carrie. Carrie, the reason why is because I respected what he said. It made sense. And I was like, right, cool, it is what it is. Yeah, but that y'all that can talk cut, about what y'all want to. I don't have to engage. I don't have to talk about it. For every everybody else. Because some people mm-hmm. might think that. This topic is a heavy topic for a lot of people for a lot of different reasons. And quite yeah. honestly, I think it's a topic that really does need to be talked about more because there is so much behind mm. it. Um, you know, like my my husband is a is a PK. He has his own experience through the church. And he was a, he was Kojic. He has his own experience mm. through churches and he has his own his own story to why he is where he is now with the church from his perspective. I grew up Baptist, but I really didn't become connected to the church. So I got older, I became a trustee and then I worked for a church. So my perspective of church came from a different Avenue. Then like there's, there's all these different perspectives. And then now you have so many people who are like telling you that the Bible, the Bible is the Bible, but then there's, Things before the Bible that show that the Bible wasn't the first book, or, or know your history. Like there's so there's so many conflicting conversations happening, yeah, but, but, there. Nobody, but nobody really wants to delve into conversations. So oh, okay. I don't think y'all listen. Yeah. Y'all know. Well, like, can I ask you one question? I want to ask her one question, I, I ask her one question though, Carrie. I'm not ask, asking his question, huh? Hey, hey Carrie, do you do you work for the Daily Wire? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why? You trying to Owens? Y'all trying to y'all trying to cancel 2K speech? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I understand what you were saying. I gave it to you. I get what you're saying. I oh, you. Okay, and there, I appreciate you. Matt, why? <laughs> yeah. so I was like, yo, I, I, my, my question was directly to him. He said he didn't want to talk about it. I was like, I can respect it, man. It is what it is. So okay, man. And, and I do. I, I, I know I missed the first part. So I you guys can talk about whatever it is that y'all want to talk. No, about. but his question was for you, Anton. That's why he didn't ask that. it. He was directly it for you. For he didn't say Anton. This is my question. No, but he was but, talking to you. But then you said no. Nah, that's why he said he let it pass. Let me get this. I um. I kind of heard what he hold was trying to ask. Hold on. Let me read this last thing. Hold on. Love the show, Ant. His name is Anton, y'all. Ain't no W. Don't listen to how two K say this man name. It's Anton. How can we get in back? What? Anton, how how can I get in back chasers? Just but hit the link that's to the top of the chat or link yeah. that's in the description. It's in the description. But um, 2K's wife, yeah. Sarah, if you're interested in coming on panel, hit me up in my IG. That's it's really right here. Not. I would love to hear your intake on the panel. Yeah. Okay, well, we got to have Rita. If, if my wife coming out, burn this shit down and go. Why wow, Rita already been on panel? Why are you gonna burn, gonna it, down? burn it down? down gonna and be, you're not even gonna be on the panel with her. Who? You? Hey, the why? What the Wi-Fi box gonna be at? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Taking it. Right. I need it. Hey, keep on. Hey, keep, hey, keep on. Two K. Goddamn, Karen and Tug are going the whole Daily Wire. Goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, hey, hey, get out, my boy. Hey, Anton, my boy. This ain't our first time bumping head. Hey, you, hey, you go. You gonna be on locals, nigga. <laughs> Your YouTube channel gonna be gone. <laughs> <laughs> it already went one. That's all. I got the first one out of here, man. <laughs> But let's Eli, see, Eli, all I was gonna say is that if you um if you like giving, what would help is if you have a church that is honest about where they're sending their money, what they're doing in the community, and if you can see what they're doing, it'll make you feel good about giving because you're helping too. Yeah, we'll see, and that's the, but that like even even those types of statements again because of the the capacity that I worked with churches like 
you can see you should see that you can see that if you're active in a church you're a part of that you there is no like we don't show you we can't tell you where your money is going if you accept that then that's kind of less on the church and more on you for being okay with not seeing where your money is going and knowing what the the, the church is providing services for i, I feel so, like if again, the, so again feel, like hmm. th that's why a lot of churches have benevolence they have cdc's they have like all of these other things that they have set up that's where the money goes they have accountants they had like these are things that you should know to request from the church if you go to the church meetings they have to present the budget they have to show you where at where the spending has gone they it's like all of those things have to no be revealed they, they can't just take your money listen, and be like we ain't gonna tell you don't you. know nothing about that listen I, I, I think the church <laughs> should have deadlines and goals okay let's say all the bills equal this this month this is what we need okay we got to pay the pastor because he still got to get paid come up with that but the problem is with the church they'll have that the first week of the month the whole thing, the bills and the, to pay the pastor, and they still collect, and we know some of that going on, on the bills the pastor got. We we know some of this money going on places that ain't allocated back to the church or the community. So that's what the church lose a lot of people here, and that's why when people get married, then you try to keep your wife out the church because we know what the pastor doing with the extras. He's spending it on him, not them. How do you well, know? I'm trying to tell you that's not like most that churches, too, okay? and you're not trying to hear that. Are you listen? Right. We just like it's not most holes, it's not most churches, but, but to act that, like it don't exist. The, no, be, nobody's saying, but nobody, but that that goes <laughs> back. That goes back. At the end of the day, it's people. Okay, it's people. There are good pe people who do good things and people who do bad things everywhere. They're in the yes. church. They're in your. They're they're everywhere. So, but, to, but for the place to be the church no, is happening far too me, me, far too much. For that to be God's sacred place, it happens far too much. According to what though? Like according, according where where are you getting where are you getting your data from? The, I'm, the, and I'm not saying it's true or not per se. I'm asking you where are you getting the data to say it happens far too much? Because I we of course I don't have the data, but then I know you can't make the statement. But, I can't no, make a statement no, without no, the data. No, I can tell you, you people get burned every day. I don't have no, the data. Then you, then, then you need then it, then you should say, in my opinion, X, Y, and Z. You're That's stating, not an opinion. Stating, this is what is happening. All where of us are you getting church, the data. All of us have went to churches where they have a uh, sent the collection to play around more than once. Or uh, am I lying? Yeah. I don't. I don't have. Okay. No, I but don't have no data, but is that a true might, statement? That might be a church that's actually financially sound because if I collect money for the building fund, I can't put your building fund money towards benevolence. So I, I have get to take five different collections. It, a lot it, of church. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm not listen, trying to yell. No, no, you good, Carrie. You know, you're good. Uh, but I'm saying just because I don't have the data don't mean that it's not true. That's all that, I'm saying. That, that is that that is true. But you're also stating it as if you have the data. You know what I'm saying? It's, you're not it's, it's, stating it. You're not stating it like it's been my experience or this is what I think. You're saying it's happening way too much. And all I'm asking you is when you say it's happening way too much, where, where are you where are you getting your information to make I'm, you listen, think that? I'm getting it from you because you is not saying that it don't happen. You you you're not saying that it don't happen. You just saying, hey, where your data at? Because you know I can't prove it. But to prove because, your point, you asking me for something that you know I can't prove. Yeah, because all I can go off of with this, all I can go off with with this topic, with, with any topic, is either my anecdotal data or any research I've done. And what I'm saying to you is, especially in the in in black churches, my anecdotal data and the research I've done does not show what you're saying. So that's well, why I'm well, asking. Well, show me, that's show me a thriving community that that's. Show me a thriving community that the church is uh is is helping with. Show you show a me thriving, a thriving community. A thriving community yeah. that the church. So wait. I, so every time I look up, the, the churches are in the black ghettos of fucking America. Okay. Every time you can, every time you turn a corner, it's a church in the hood. Why aren't these churches? 
Why aren't, why aren't these churches building back the community up? They, we giving all the money to the church. Why they can't give it back to us? Okay. Okay, this is this is confusing because are you suggesting that the the hood is there before the church? Then the church comes to the hood and they should now create a new neighborhood so it's not a hood. Are you saying that the church was there when it wasn't a hood and now as a result of the church being there now the neighborhood has turned into a hood? Like first let me no, understand I, that. Let's do the first one first. Let, let let's let's go against the grain. Let's say the hood was there first. And then they brought the church. Why didn't the hood improve after the church got there? Okay, so and so first we would to me we would need to define how do how how is a hood defined as a hood? Because like Lord where I'm mercy. from, the projects are not <laughs> so I'm just saying this is now getting into government too. So okay, okay. So I, I'm I'm gonna respectfully buy out the conversation because we won't come up with a solution. <laughs> yeah, this, this, this we, we won't come up with a solution. I I've never had church as a main topic because it can go down a deep rabbit hole and none of us like yeah, are, it's, it's are too much. for that conversation. Well, yeah, I don't want to have that conversation. I, 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 again, I just want to comment let me, on let me just Let me just be clear because like I said, right now, I'm not in a church for my own personal reasons, personal things that I'm still trying to figure out, right? But at the same time, I can't be, I can't not be objective as it relates to the church, just because of my own personal reasons, I can't now be like, well, the church doesn't do this and do that. When I've seen with my own eyes, the things that churches have done, when I've spoken to people on the phone and, and we have, I have helped people through the church's money. When I have witnessed, like, I can't, I would be, I, I would, that would be like, cause I still believe in God. I still believe in what I believe in. So that's all I'm saying. Like my passion on this, it just comes from you got to still be honest about it. So just making those blanket statements, it does to me. It, it you're perpetuating the things that you're saying the church is doing. You're kind of making the church do it by you saying what you're saying without. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let's back up for a minute. What exactly is the church supposed to do to save the hood? Oh, here we go. The same thing Jesus did. What did he do? He supposed to get back to his people. You supposed to feed that motherfucker. You supposed to upgrade it. The church get worse after the I meeting. Hood get worse after the church. So Jesus, down. Jesus, he fed the people yes. one time, and then what yes. else? One time. It, it, come on, Anton. Well, you I, use I, the reference or something, but no, you wanted to engage. Let's talk about it. <laughs> come on, bro. I, I, I respect you. The 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 no, no, no. What exactly? What exactly is the church supposed to do to the hood? Listen, if you were to give to me, all right, I, let's say a hundred dollars, but I get a thousand. Why can't I put four hundred and still have a little profit? Five hundred back into the community. No, let, no, okay, what exactly do you want them to do to the community? Let's be let's be specific. Let, let's do some maintenance around. Let's do some upkeep. Let's pick up all that backwood paper we be seeing on the streets. Let's pick up all them hot Cheeto bags we be seeing. Let, let's so go door to door. So, right, so what we're saying is that. Remove the responsibility from the people that's throwing the hot Cheeto bags on the street. And it's the church's responsibility to pick up after the people, right? No, it's not. It's not. But let's let's not act like, like that some support and some integrity for the hood won't go a long way. You supposed to be the leader of the community. Are they? Yes. Does it, ah. it, Who designated them the leader of the community? <laughs> oh, we were moving the city. No, 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 no. no. So we removed the city council, who you pay with your tax dollars. We removed the mayor's responsibility, who you pay with your tax dollars. Yes. You tithe into them. You tithe into them. Yes. Okay. They, they just no, no, cool. no, 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 no. They taking their money. They taking their money up front without you. Without you saying shit. You gonna mm -hmm. tithe to them, or you going to fucking jail? So we remove responsibility from the people who you supposed to call your leaders that's in charge of the infrastructure, the city cleanup, the, the trash, the pickup, the, the police presence. You paying all of these motherfuckers with your money, but then you holding the church responsible, which the church's responsibility is a congregation place and a safe haven for you to go and praise God with other people that are believers. <laughs> okay. That's the church. No, 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 no. Let's He's stop giving more responsibility to the people or to the church than what it's supposed to be there for. It's there 
as an opportunity for you to choose to go there whether you want to or not. You can choose to donate whether you want to or not. So you remove responsibility from the people that y'all vote for, that y'all have a low turnout rate in your own community that you paying. They coming out of there and they getting their motherfucking money. You paying for the schools, you paying for the police presence, you paying for their salaries, the city council, the mayor, treasurer. You don't even know the motherfuckers. But then you sitting there putting responsibility on a, on a building when the church is not the building, the building is a place for you to go and congregate. You can choose to be a part of it. You can choose to be a member. You not. But then you, you, you put responsibility on them, but you don't have no responsibility to the people that you already paying. How do we do that? Okay. Bam. First of all, the church shouldn't be the government. Okay. The government is not. It is mostly immoral. Okay. So the Bible preach all this great shit. Hey, you do this, you do the right thing, you do this. But when we look for the church to do the right thing and not be the government, you, you we look at exactly question. what the government is. You didn't answer the question. How was the, the church supposed to fix the hood? I just told you, be the, the leading example. Show us that that oh, is okay. the right thing. So, so the That's example is how about. you live your no, 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 no. The example is how you live your life. It's not the church's responsibility to fix the problem that the people that hate the fucking place that they live in create for them. Okay. And if you want to hold somebody not, accountable, if you want to hold somebody accountable, you don't go to the church on Sunday. That's for believers that want to praise God. My, you can go to the community meeting. No, 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 no. Stop, no, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. You can go to the community meeting on Tuesday when they hold the city council meeting and they talk about all of the referendums, the agendas, the millages, the schools. And how it is that they're going to lay out the budget and you can get a Freedom of Information Act to show you exactly how they're spending their money and whose salaries that you're paying. Okay, and so forget the community. That the no, church no, no, don't no. even no, you wait, said wait, wait. the community. Let, let's start in the church. The church don't even whoa, have members. Oh, no, no, no. You they said don't even have their own how does the church to fix the community? So you wanted to engage in this conversation. So now we engage I, in I, it. I, I, I Why don't y'all show back. up to the meetings of the places that you're paying for these people? And so if you want to do this, office. If you want to do this, we could pick a time and date and do this. But no, we doing it now. The, pe the people don't want to. Hear, the people don't want to hear about it. I get it. Like this, this is. But show can I? But two K, can I just it. ask you one question about what you just said? You said, like, you said the church doesn't even help its own members. So they don't. Well, let no, me no, 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 no. Hold on. Why don't y'all hold your city leaders accountable? Why don't y'all show up at the polls? Why do y'all have a less than 5% turn of a voter turnout rate in Houston, which is one of the blackest cities growing to be one of the blackest cities in America? Why is Houston fucking broke? I don't say literally the mayor came out the other day. Y'all not holding y'all not holding them accountable. Y'all not holding the, 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 the superintendents of the schools accountable. You're not holding the fucking parents accountable. You're not you're not holding the the, the, the people that's actually creating the chaos in y'all communities, y'all fucking know who the drug dealers are. Y'all know who the people that's poisoning your communities, but then you tell the church to go and clean up after these motherfuckers and they hot Cheeto bags. How was that? Mm. How do y'all hold, how do you hold accountable God's people for the shit that the devil do? <laughs> how do y'all do that shit? You're right. The church you don't even church believe. Okay. You don't even believe, but you're putting it, it, expectations on people that you don't even believe in. How you do that? Listen, I know what a good organizer is. I don't have to believe Please, to know what. You, how, how do you I don't have to animal. believe. How do you, you tell somebody to do some shit for you? To, listen, listen the, the different, I don't look for people that I don't rock with to come and save me. From listen, myself, my mo my morality does not come from a church, from a Bible, or from. So a why God. do you ask to do? Why do you ask? No, this anything? this is what no because they stand on that, but they don't do the things that they stand on. These are they. How prisoners. do you know? How do you but, know? But I grew up in the church. You don't know. You don't I know. Grew up in but the church you know. You know. Who you can't. How can you, know you tell you me about hold, all this you know good we supposed to be doing, and y'all never do? You know it. who you can hold accountable because you Myself. don't know. Each you don't Myself. know what each individual organization is doing. But what myself. you can hold accountable is the people that you already paying with your tax dollars. Now I can hold myself accountable. I do these. Y'all still don't even fucking know them. I guarantee you. I do these things. Know, I guarantee you. You don't know who the secretary of state of your of your city and your state is. You don't, don't know who the treasurer is. You don't know who the who the city supervisor is. Y'all don't know who your te the teachers of your kids are. You don't even know the principal name of the of the, of the school that's teaching your kids. And y'all don't know. I guarantee y'all don't, don't know, know who God, God Jesus is. is. You, you never met him. No, listen. Anything that the church do for you, motherfuckers, these heathens, 
Anything the church do for y'all is extra, but it shouldn't be expected. That's for the members. Hey, I, and if I, the I, members I, decide that they want to dissolve the church by not going anymore, then they can do that. And I, it's, I, new, I, it's, I, people, it's people that you can get involved with right now. And guess you, what? I'm community, you, community meetings across the United States of America is empty. Listen, I, I, I don't, I don't only, need none of the only people. community meeting that's full is the one in Tiffany Dalton. And, and, and because she because they got she's saying about over there. Right. Of other course. than that, ain't no more, ain't no community. Hey, hey Anton, not what about up. me? You can take my track record. I, I know where y'all will show up at. I don't know where y'all will help. show up at. Y'all gonna show have... up at brunch. Y'all gonna show up at brunch. Not me. Be like, hey, hey, hey. Y'all gonna Listen, show up there. My track record is proven. Check. You can call and ask my city. I ain't never got a donation dollar for nobody. I give back to my city on the regular. I ain't talking about and you. you. Don't I'm need a god or a, a, a councilman. The same or energy that y'all got for me. the church. Y'all don't got for Brandon Johnson, Eric Adams, Tiffany Hanger, Karen Bass, Atlanta Mayor. Y'all don't have none of that fucking energy for nobody. But y'all okay. want to keep, continue to talk about the church. I ain't talking uh, about that. Two K, would you? Two K, would you? Would you say that a lot of how you feel stems from what your personal experience was when you were going to church as a kid? No, not not at all. Because it, it's coming across as if you were impacted, and I'm not trying to say that to be funny because that that's what I'm saying. A lot of like the a lot of people who I've spoken with who have your perspective they seem to have had their own personal experience in some way, shape or form with the church, which I, I, that's, that's another reason I, why I think that these types no, of conversations no. should I, be I had. don't speak, I don't but, speak from personal experiences because they will be selfish. I speak from the general knowledge that I have and that I get and receive. And then I put back out. That's how I, I operate when I'm on these shows. Cause I can tell you just like Anton, I, a lot of my, my shit is anecdotal. Okay. But I, I'd be dumb as hell if I can't take what other people are telling me and what I see with my own two eyes and can't regurgitate and see what's actually happening. That'll be crazy. This is not I, all personal experiences. Because nah. a That'd lot be of crazy. your reference, a lot of your reference was I was in the church. And again, we all have a tendency to, to spread our thoughts as if they're fact, or we spread what we've heard from one or two or three or four people as if we've heard it from a whole bunch of people, and I'm not saying you haven't, but you, it's just you can look at church attendance alone and can tell that what I'm saying is what's being validated. You can I, look at the church attendance alone. Now, is date on that? Is date on that? That's not true because for is example, on that? nobody for go to example, church. For example, things are starting to evolve based off of the fact that things are moving online more, right? That's number one. That's number one, especially since the pandemic. Things moved online and things had to start transitioning. On top of that, you can use that same anecdotal experience for every single thing. You can use it for the local community as far as the stores and the restaurants. Do people not eat anymore? No. It's certain, it's, it's, certain way, it's certain ways, it's certain things that's being affected as far as what's allowing for people to be distracted or, or what helps people to do something a certain type of way. The right? church Listen, listen, listen. Everything that's happening in your community that's that's wrong, it's not the church's fault. It's the people's fault. No facts. It's the people's fault. No facts. And so I'm not going to hold nobody else accountable for what I got control over. If y'all want to fix y'all hoods and y'all want to fix y'all communities, y'all know how to do it. You know who the robbers are. You know who the D-boys are. You know who the pedophiles are. You know who the monsters are. You know who the dudes that continue to steal cars are. You know who, how to cut your grass. You know why your property taxes is fucked up. You know who who going who gonna to fuck on the little girls. You know what? You know you're going to send your kids to school without no home training and the teacher's going to be over glorified babysitters. We know what the problems are. We refuse to address the problems and we keep putting it on other people's shoulders. That's the reality. So I don't have no sympathy. At all. I, so I I've been trying to, to, to fix this. Well, finish this conversation a long time ago because it, it talking about religion, politics, all this shit. It could throw the conversation all the way that way. Y'all want yeah. to do this? Y'all want to do? I've been saying I respect. I, 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 I move myself, 
but y'all forced me to engage. And so, of course. But it didn't. It, but it, 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 but, but it, it didn't twist your arm, AD. But it didn't, it on, didn't throw the conversation off. Like, it went, it went in this direction, and that's okay. That's okay I, I, if it went in this direction. I'm with it. I'm, I'm girded it, up. I'm and, ready. And, I'm energized. So, and if if the if the idea of talking about it is for it to be better, then there should be no issue in talking about it unless the idea is not for it to get better. So the question now is, do you want churches? Do you want to get to a point where you do think that churches are doing what, what you think they should do? Do you want to know you that talking churches to me? are you talking helping? To I'm talking me? to 2K. Yeah. I had, yo, and, bro, I would have way more respect for the churches if I seen them actually doing shit for the so, community. So, so then to me, that is another reason why these conversations are important because there are to, there are a lot of churches that are trying to figure out how to get people to trust them more. Because like I said, a lot of people have either had their own personal experience with their church or a church, or they've heard other people's experiences and they've taken that on and there are churches who are trying to fix that for instance when i was working at this at the church right the pastor that i worked for he's very passionate about financial literacy in the black community very very his, the church was is in a, a predominantly black and now probably hispanic neighborhood very very passionate about that the um we did it's called his program is called d free and we did the program we did a conference while i was there i say five years in a row and the first year because he came to me like this is what we're going to do and i thought that this was something we needed to charge the people for it was going to be a three-day event it was going to involve a concert it was going to involve a full day of breakout sessions, keynote speakers about life insurance, about real estate, about getting your taxes in order, about living wills, all of these different things, starting a business, all of these different things. So we're like, we need to charge. He was adamant. He's like, we're not charging. We're not charging. We want the people to come get the information. Now cool. I knew I knew from a business standpoint that unfortunately people, a lot, a lot of people don't seem to see the value in things when it's free. When they have some skin in the game, they take it more seriously. But okay, let's go the road of let's offer it free to the people. We market it, we promote it, we sent out stuff, we we spread the word as much as we could. It was like pulling teeth to get people to come to yep. this free three day yep. conference. We provided Every lunch, time. breakfast. Every time he, like, we provided, he, we provided. This is book right here, free books. For people everything it was like pulling teeth to get people yep. to come for free yep. to come to get help for themselves so all i'm saying is is that it's real easy to kind of like to, they'll really say, that, they'll say the that the church ain't doing nothing they'll say that they can't they ain't helping the people man the people got to help themselves i agree with that they got to want to be involved in their own success and, and they again, do the thing that's important oh, to them. They do the thing that's important to them because let it be a fucking basketball game or the, or your your local team make the playoffs. Everybody going to be at the fucking they're going to be everywhere. They're going to be at the the cookout. They're going to be there early. They're going to be you know what I'm saying doing doing everything. They going they going if a chick call them at 2 in the morning, they're going to get up and go get that pussy. But when you tell them to come get this free education and get this free financial literacy, they ain't going to say shit. They're going to be too sleepy because they was too busy doing something last night. I will say this. Uh, um, one thing in my in my personal experience uh, uh, from the different churches I've gone to because I travel a lot is that because um, it's, it's something you said where it was probably an hour ago, Carrie, <laughs> a long ass time ago when you said uh, you said, yeah, people aren't asking questions. And I. Uh, I don't know. I I I was kind of like, no, I'm a asking questions nigga. That's who I've always been. You know, I'm a ask a question, right? And uh and and it kind of asking questions in a in a you know Christian culture in general. What do we do? We we're about belief. You don't ask questions. You don't question yeah. God. But I'm like, yo. But also, you know, being a reader, being a you know, just being in life, I've never grown without asking a question because. I think the middle piece we're, we're missing is understanding. 
And AD, this is where you come in. As you was uh, speaking with uh, 2K, I think that's the link we were missing because it was like, yo, maybe even if he said what he's saying you don't agree with or wasn't even uh, or was misinformation. We we have to we have to get to that middle piece where it's understanding, and then they can make their choice or whatnot. Nope, which you wrong. which you did well, which you did wrong. well when you uh, you're wrong. Up. You're wrong. Okay. Believe it or not, I have church every morning. Mm -hmm. I just put the medicine inside of the candy. Okay. Like I, have church. I have a church. I have church on a millionaire morning show every morning. I just put the medicine inside of the candy. First yeah. thing I do is check oh. on the people's well being. Second thing, we'll pray for them. We make sure that we entertain them, but we put the medicine inside of the candy and we make sure that they get the insight and information that they need to ultimately make better decisions, vote better, have financial literacy, know what's going on in your community. And then we laugh and we joke and we play. But if you tell them that you're actually speaking from a spiritual perspective, they tune the fuck out. And there will be a cause when we're wrong there, right there. You put, you, put, you put it inside the can. I mean, but like you know, at the end of the day. <laughs> I, I, I just but, think that. Mm. No, no, but for real though, like I, I understand church people. And when I say that, I know that it's a beacon of hope. And I apologize to people because I don't never want to destroy nobody's hope because for a lot of people, that is their hope that will keep them going, that will get them through the day, through the week, through the month, through the year. But when I say stuff, I'm not just saying shit just to be uh just to be bashing the church. Like these are real legitimate facts. If you if you just stop and scroll through your neighborhoods and just stop and ask. Ask them why they're not going to church no more. You're gonna find this to be the truth. You can look they, at the numbers. Church is down because they trapping. Because they trap because they trapping. No, because nobody not falling for that no more. It is too yeah, but you but you know. falling for trapping though. Who who trapping? Everybody trapped. Everybody trapped. And every ain't nobody even ain't nobody even going to work in the morning. They're, all of Atlanta is full on a Tuesday at at twelve p.m. and these motherfuckers is on the freeway. I mean, I mean, think about that though. Like, hey, at least you can get some money in a trap. You leave in church always less than no, how you can. You, you go to jail. You go to jail. Yeah, you, you do go to jail, but every time you leave church, you guaranteed to leave uh what ten percent lesser than how you can. No, nope, them are facts. That don't make no forces, sense. Nobody forces you to do nothing. You don't have to time, but yeah, that's a decision that you only make on your own. Nobody, and, it, nobody and, and that really should nobody be between anything. you and God. That really shouldn't be dependent on on the church. But you, two K, you said it's facts again, and I asked you for your data, and you couldn't give me none. I don't have no data. I've been on the show. See, I didn't know. <laughs> how you, like, you talking want me to pull a piece of paper out? Huh? Here you go. I like, want you to come up with something because you keep saying this facts. Everybody, it, this is church, just Hold on, so you can't. Said it. Okay, well, listen, without even looking at the numbers, we could just, we know nobody goes to church anymore. Well, well, clearly it's not nobody goes because a lot of people go. But again, you're, you're just saying, and listen. Q, can you I, pull I, up I, facts I, that church I, is down? Or yeah, for, sure, for sure okay. they're down. Uh, Absolutely. Listen, I can't, I'll hit you. Come, I'm, go I'm ready to go to bed, baby. Listen, I hit you up with the facts. <laughs> <laughs> Top twelve thirty. Look, I hit you. I, I Instagram you. Um, what I find, if, 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 even, even if I'm fact. wrong, even, even if fact. I'm wrong. And once again, I apologize to all Christians if I offended. I am sincere mm -hmm. about this because I know how y'all is about y'all religion, and that's cool. Okay. But you're Chew speaking your mind. You can't. It's, not a religion. it's about it's about our God. We don't play about our God. No, nah, that's cool. You know, it's a cult. I got it. But we can't censor nope. people. We should nope. let people. Not a cult. Last, it's real. Not cult. But last last panel, we did say let people be them. Let people talk how they want to yeah. talk. Come on, y'all want to engage? We getting there now. Q, hold on, Q, wait, Q. I, I don't think that Anton has silenced me or Carrie silenced me. I yeah, think I we, we just had a discord. This we is just had a I mean. and, I think, and I think that was so great because y'all don't even know how many people that was like, oh, okay, that it was clear. We all got to an understanding. I think that was it was needed. So, brother Anton, when you said when you said you didn't want to talk about it, and then you came out to just talk about it now, that made everything so much better. 
Two I hours? think sometimes in, in my experience, my personal experience, I've been met with too many, oh, we're not talking about this. Oh, you're questioning God. But then when somebody literally just asks <laughs> a, answers a question, no, that understanding. What I said was, what I said was, I was unwilling to engage with people that's not taking the conversation. This particular conversation is serious. That's what mm -hmm. I said. I'm not opposed mm -hmm. to taking this here. I just took it serious. I listened. We talked. We I don't think room. so. I think you're messing around, but it's okay. Uh, you, I'm not messing around because I still had the same opinion, but I did take the, the dialogue very serious. I'm like, listen, as an atheist, I, I don't have nothing against God or the church. I just need I the evidence. That. I don't believe I, that. I just need the evidence. Listen, if you say it's a Santa Claus, show me where he stay at in the North Pole. Show me a picture of him. And hey, I believe in Santa. I just want that's, evidence. That's, that's, that's it. Not, that's not how it works. I know that's not how it works. Okay, you know who that benefit? Just, just because, just because you didn't see it, doesn't mean it didn't. Nobody exist. seen it. No, that's not true. That's not who, true. Who's the guy? Let, let me tell you something. If the clouds parted right now, and I seen God face to face, or I seen the face of God right now, and you didn't. It don't make it any less true that it did that the clouds parted just because I couldn't prove to you that I seen it. My God, listen, you 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 no, 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 you are you, missing it. My my point is just because it's not proven to you doesn't mean that it's not real. Yes, and so that's that's but, but see, nobody is trying to convince you. You your problem is that you're trying to argue against something that people is not trying to prove to you, but then you forcing them into the conversation, which is cool. You force them into the conversation. And then when we engage, you say, well, I still didn't believe you. So what was the point of forcing the conversation in the first place? No, the conversation, listen, I understand the point of the conversation. It's, it's, it's a dope discord. But Anton, you can't say, first of all, you just as eight as I am. It's 5,000 oh, gods. And you don't believe in 4,999. I don't I believe, believe. I believe in Jesus Christ specifically. Okay. And, and you see how that go? Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's not a problem, but like if hey, if I if I die and go to hell, hey, I'm I fucked up. Burn me. T okay. Send me to the section. Be careful what you say. Send me to the section. I know y'all like, power, if power, power, I don't see why we should power life that. and death is in the tongue. You better be careful with that. Hey, cuz they've been saying this ever since. Like okay. <laughs> I told been dead. I'll keep telling y'all that. Like, listen, our time on this <laughs> earth is just is just but a blip on the radar. Yeah, I mean, we all have bad days. I probably get hit by a car. I don't know how God like. Even if it is real, let's let's really check the scoreboard. The devil is up. Like he, we, I'd rather be on this nigga side. He be winning. He be winning and by a lot. He up twenty in the fourth. Okay. Okay. Hey. Well, somebody told me a long time ago. I would rather believe that there's. I would rather believe that there's a God and find out that there's not, than to not believe there's a God and find out that there is. And that was enough for me to at least hold on to that. And then I started on my journey. So it's I'm not like trying to convince. Like I'm not, what, whatever. What I'm not. <laughs> my 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 interjection here has nothing to do with convincing or anything like that. I was just offering mm. up what I knew to be true from my experience. That's all. Like, I'm not pushing nothing on anybody. That's your own walk. That's your own thing. I do think that there's a lot of people who were impacted as kids from the church, and they have not healed from it, and that has, not, you know, perpetuated itself, but that's personal too. So, all I'm saying is, is that the stuff that you were saying just came across as if you had a bunch of data that it doesn't seem like you have. That's all. That's right now, thing. because I've been on this show for three hours, I provide you the data. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> God damn, I'm for, for, okay. Hey, but at, at, at best, if God was a boss, he'd be incompetent. At you best. know what? You know, no, no, no. You know what the real truth is? I believe that you're looking for an answer in, in your soul. I, I think that what what really is happening, and this is my personal opinion. You think I want to come home? And I just and I nope, I just figured it out. No. I've, never, I've never seen you stay on this panel this long. You always did at some point no. earlier than right now. No, 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 no. You had to talk. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me a second. You ain't got to interrupt me. You can kick it. <laughs> I've never seen you stay on a panel this late, ever, ever. And I've never seen you so adamant about discussing a subject. And what hmm. I believe is the reason why you so adamant about this is because you searching for something deep down inside. And I could be wrong, 
But I think that you're really searching for something deep down inside and you're looking for an answer and you know it's something there. And so what happens is people tend to deflect and they stay on something even when they're proven to be wrong because they really are searching for something within their soul that's forcing them to really reckon with what it is that they really what they're really dealing with. And so what you searching for is really there, but you don't want to acknowledge it because you're stuck in your ways. But you're going to. It's, it's going to be revealed to you anyway. And it ain't going to come through me. It ain't going to come through Carrie. It ain't going to come through none of us. That's something that you're going to wrestle with within your soul. So what you're going to do is you're going to crack a joke and you're going to make it funny and you're going to say something derogatory about God again. But that's always how it happens. <laughs> but listen, listen. See, you're going to giggle. Go ahead. Well, I know what I'm doing. I'm like, but but, but, so, but, but, but I, I think that you know, I think that you smart. See, the thing that people don't know about you is that you're one of the smartest people that I've ever met. You real smart, for real, for real. And I know who you really are in the inside. But I'm going to let you have it. Go ahead, do your thing, big dog. Appreciate you for letting me do that, man. Again, Anton, that's what I mean about the bridge of understanding. Because that's what it sounded like to me the whole time. He, Not saying that I know you 2K, but it sounded like he do want to come on. But he needs to understand certain things. He needs to have some discourse like this. And that's why I was saying that that's what we're missing sometimes, that connection of just understanding. And then we can make our own thought, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, you know what? Let me come on. Well, I don't know. This is where I'm at with it. And that's why I just keep saying the, this conversation is important. You know what I'm saying? It's those tough conversations. So, yes, it was very important, Carrie. Thank you for pushing it, Carrie. And 2K, thank you for taking it all the way to get Anton involved. My Real boy. Time. I fuck with I need, I I fuck need with to see y'all. <laughs> Shout out to my girl, man. Hey, it's all love at the end of the day. I promise it. Go ahead, say another insult about God. It ain't no wow. insult. I, I mean, hey, if you want to know. Okay. I supposed to believe that Jesus saved us and died for our sins. Well, he can't even stop it. <laughs> no, I, I, no I, I, I do this, like for real. Like, but let, let me be honest, cuz like. Nigga got killed by three nails. That that don't sound powerful to me. Like 50 got shot nine times. We he he made it. Jesus got three nails and he was out of there. Right. We got a whole day out to him. But they pierced his side. But they pierced. I'm gonna say they pierced his side too. So he bled. Hey, yo, hey, fifty got shot nine times, nigga. (laughs) Nigga got killed by some. some, some, He was taken to a hospital. (laughs) Hey, y'all gotta go. I'm going to hell. (laughs) You you are going to hell. Let's read these super. Let's let's read these super chats and get (laughs) get, 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 and let's close the prayer. I appreciate I appreciate Anton real time. Ari just here so she don't get fined. Once again, sh- shout out Anton, short man logic. Uh, got my bag for the rest of my life, player. Let's see your full view, short man. Don't want no short, short man. Logic is not short. Logic is like 6'2, bro. Principal, don't pocket watch nobody. Um, came here from the millionaire morning show. I wanted to say I that I paid for box. I'm a female from the gay community, but since I make over 300K per year, my dating pool is small. Being a sugar mama is easier than normie, normie dating for me. No regrets. <laughs> DJ and strip club equals pastor at your church. It's an a- a- art. The suckiness of this answer had no ought to disude one from the believing sinkness. that. The sickness? You said sickness? The sink- succinctness. I'm tired of, I know what he's doing. I'm not reading your shit, Quinn. It's a sensitive <laughs> topic and I under, understand why I love what you all do. Missed out on the DC meetup, but I look forward to connecting on the future. Shout out. Um, Okay, how can we rehabilit- rehabilitate the churches in our community? 20 churches in Weston, Atlanta in the community is dead. Um, my daddy church ran the hookers of off 23rd Street. Um, Anton, I face the same challenges explaining this to people. I don't like explaining God to non believers, it's not for me. 2K, Turkey, feeling some type of way, low smash. What? Yes, the blessings are reversed for God's people. Anything after is mercy extended out his congregation. It starts local, local government. God have us free will. The church can't make anyone do anything. Anton cooking. Um, that's an idea you have, bro. Go back to church and start community. Um, clean, clean community, clean up or stop it. 
expectations on churches and parents and your family. Church is misunderstood. Church houses vulnerable souls. Church is a shelter event for souls. Um, there are people who seek God's wisdom through his followers, even if it's given to them. It won't resonate how it's intended to because of their lack of belief. This goes for and uh, God's how do you say that word? Ag no, oh, agnosticism. Agnosticism. <laughs> yeah. agnosticism. 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 Ag
Fellas, there is a wait list to be on the panel. Please be patient. Please do not double message me because it kicks you to the bottom. If I haven't responded yet, I only really respond to those panel DMs only on Sundays. Ladies, if you're interested in joining the panel, hit me on my IG. Fellas, same thing, but it's a wait list. And don't ask me what, how long is the wait list because I'm not going to reply to that. So, but thank you for everybody that joined the panel. Till, oh, we got some super chats. Let me read these that came in. Brody to watch. Oh, we read that one. Church is supposed to be the light community leaders. Um, 2K, appreciate your courage. Hold your ground. 45,000 years earlier as humans evolved and languages formed, many might be surprised to see the common origin of the religion. Appreciate your okay. love. Thank you. And everybody that's coming for my reading, how about you come up here and read at 12 a.m. all these damn super chats, okay? But anyways, thank you guys that's in the chat. Make sure you hit the like button. Until next time. Okay, bye! Bye, y'all!